a minute late. Technical difficulties on the tablet. But I'm here now. I'm only a minute. That's not too bad. I think that's the latest I've ever been though. One minute. One minute. And now my camera's wonky. It's my first day on the job. Hi, how are you guys doing? Merry Christmas time. I know some of you don't decorate or do Christmas stuff until after Thanksgiving. I don't believe in that because I love vintage Christmas and Christmas in general. So November it is. Hi guys, I missed you and happy um, Halloween. I didn't see you last Halloween. Happy Halloween. I hope you had a fantastic Halloween. Gave out candy, spent it with your kids, spent it with your grandkids, watched spoopy movies, did whatever makes you happy. You ate the candy. Whatever it is you did, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna say hi to my friends. Hello, Miss Ferrer, how are you? Wordsmith, Tuesdays are the best days. Really, you think so? That is so nice, thank you. Redheaded kitty cat, thank you so much for being here. Redheaded kitty cat, are you bid ending tonight? Question mark, I hope so, thank you so much. L. Paul R. 1948, hello, welcome in, happy Tuesday. Lisa Jens, hello, did you get your box, Lisa Jens? Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Rachel. Hello, my rusty snail of a friend. How are you doing? Enamor, Amy, I get to have a sale with you soon. I'm so excited. Look, I'm extra, extra tonight because, see, I tell you, I tell you guys that, like, you're my only adult conversations that I have for, like, a week because I'm, I'm a mom to a six-year-old, um, but it's been two weeks, so I haven't talked to other adults in like two weeks, so I, I'm probably going to talk a lot tonight, so my apologies. Elizabeth King, hello, welcome in. Sorry I'm talking a lot tonight, Elizabeth, you'll have to forgive me. Oh, but, but Tippy Winks, hi Tippy, thank you so much for being here. Hawk's Nest, hi, darker, yes. I would notice that too when I walked out to my withering creepy cottage thing and um, it was very dark. I had to use a flashlight. I wasn't used to that. So that was a little interesting. But yes, it is daggum daylight savings time. Daggum. Daggum. Debbie Gutierrez. Hi. Hi, Teddy. Debbie Wither, the withering pup. She had blood work um, today for her upcoming spay which is, it's not funny. The spay itself is not funny, that surgery. But my daughter is convinced that she's getting her eunice taken out. So, I hate that for her. Um, I tried to explain to said tiny human that it was her uterus, but for some reason her brain can't fathom that word. So it's just consistently her eunice. So, the withering pup will be having her eunice removed sh shortly, so wish her luck. Hope they find it. <laughs> Hope they find it. Hey, Don, how are you doing tonight, dear? Margaret Latina, happy Tuesday to you, dear. Dusty, hi, Dusty. Hi, Dusty, Dusty. Val M, hello, hello. Fields of summer, hello. That sounds so nice right now. A field of summer. And summer. Antique agenda. Look, antique agenda. I'm dressed up as you, dressed up as me, dressed up as each other. Isn't that funny? Hi, my very caboodles. How are you doing, dear? Sajiro, too. Shelly Casey Waka. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, thank you. Oh, I missed you guys so much. Tammy Bennett. Hello, vintage weed grown weed nerd. Hello. Wait, I think I said that wrong. Vin. Southern Vintage Grown Weed Nerd. Thank you so much for being here. Crescent Moon, hello, hello, welcome in. What a day, <clears throat> excuse me, what a day, I lost my spot. What a day, Rose, how are you doing? How are you doing tonight? Patricia Wishing, Lizzie, hello, Susie Allen, hello. <gasps> Molly Matten. I'm honored. Thank you so much, Molly, and thank you for being here. I miss your stuff. Your beautiful, beautiful stuff. I got to put out your snowman when I decorated for Christmas. I was so happy. So happy. Diane Broderick. Hello, Pee Wee. Hello, sweet Pee Wee. Kelly in Texas. Hello. 
Miss Stevens, how are you doing this evening? Thank you so much for being here. Hi, Aunt Karen. I love you so much. You have no idea. Hello, hello. Lindy, hello. Oh, I'm just so happy to see my friends. I have a question. Is there a Withering Cottage Facebook friends group? If not, I'm making one. Oh, gosh. I mean, there isn't one. If you want to make one, I'm sure... It would be a lot of uh, memes of me doing very embarrassing and saying very embarrassing stuff. So, I mean, go for it, Wordsmith. I I would be very interested in seeing what kind of things came up on that Facebook page. I give you royalties. Is that <laughs> whatever you need to do, Wordsmith? Hi, Kimberly Ann. Oh, thank you so very much. Thank you, thank you, Molly. This is an old bed thing bed nighty i wear night clothes as regular clothes because i don't care <laughs> grace yes eunice her eunice angela angela i've got you a present i got you a present i just need to send it to you i shouldn't have told you that i didn't get you a present angela forget i said that mary dugan hello melody southern buckeye hello hi vintage show and tell so good to see you here. Elizabeth, hello from North Carolina. Hello from Georgia. That's where I'm from. That is where I'm from. Jamie Grafton, hello. Hung my older sister's brooches on my bedroom curtains. Thank you. Do you like them? Do you like it there? You're welcome. My mom and my sister are both doing good. They are going to be able to spend Thanksgiving together. So I'm so happy for them. That will be a really, really fun time. Pee-wee, Ariana, are you going to package winning items with red, green tissue paper and stickers? I don't want to open the box and want to just wrap the box to gift for Christmas. You want to, you want to give, Pee-wee, if you buy something and you want me to wrap it in Christmas paper, I shall do that for you. I usually wrap my things pretty nice anyways, but I will specifically wrap it in Christmas paper if you ask. I sure will. Hi, Pamela Blanchard. Pam, I got my buttons. Thank you so much. Please let me know what I owe you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for that. Speaking of, I have, I don't know if you guys can see this. My fingers are bloody to the bone because I have been crafting up such a storm for two sales I have this week or next week both, I guess. I have one sale on Saturday. It is a vintage Christmas, handmade Christmas marathon on Enamor Amy's channel. She's part, part, partnering. She's part, partnering. I give up. Jason, mother tuckers. She, she's doing it with that guy. And it's gonna be really, really fun. It's starting at 1 p.m. on this Saturday and it's going all the way to 10 p.m. A lot of my vintage um, selling friends are gonna be on there. I am going to be on there from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. with Garden Guide Bill. So Enamor Amy, you'll see her in the chat. It's gonna be on her channel this Saturday from 1 p.m. to 10 p.m. But me and Bill are gonna be on from six to eight. So that's gonna be really fun. And then on that Thursday, me, Pam, and Amy are having a crafter sale of all handmade vintage Christmas inspired and vintage Christmas items. Um, and I've been just crafting up a storm. Like, haven't ate, haven't slept in a week. That's a lie. I'm not good at lying. But I've been working hard, okay? And I do have two handmade. I do have two handmade items that I brought tonight, kind of like as a preview. So that'll be really, really fun. And that sale will also be on Enamor Amy's channel. So I hope you guys can make it to this Saturday and next Thursday sale. Go check out Amy's Instagram and her YouTube channel for the links. You're not going to want to miss it. It's going to be so, so much fun. All right. Now, now the spiel. <clears throat> hey, hi there. How's it going? My name's Ariana. Although it may not look like it, I've been doing this for like over a year now. And um, I still, most of the time, don't remember how to do this. But this is the Withering Cottage channel where I buy, sell, vintage and antiques. <laughs> I try to buy um, one of a kind, kind of oddball items when I can. Um, I live in the Bodunks of Georgia, y'all. Y'all. 
If you want to participate in tonight's sale, please, please do. We always have a lot of fun over here on this channel. Um, I'm going to hold up a, a item like on QVC, like this, for example, but it won't be this because I need to drink this. And I will say this item right here is starting at $10. And you will just see in the chat, hopefully people don't hate it. They will put 10 if someone else is willing to pay 11, they'll put 11, so on and so forth, until I start my 15 second countdown. Once that countdown starts, um, you're gonna wanna put in your best offer because when redheaded kitty cat puts in a bid end, that item is gonna be sold to the last highest offer. I think that's how that goes. Shipping is not included in the cost of your item. It just depends on where you live, how big your box is, and that's about it. If you do purchase tonight and you haven't purchased in the past, you will need to send me an email to the, and yes, I apologize, the dots are prudent. I don't know why I did that to you guys, but you have to send me an email to the dot withering dot cottage at gmail.com with your real name, your YouTube name, your physical home address, and your PayPal email. If you don't have a PayPal account, that is totally okay. You can always check out as a guest. Unfortunately, I don't take any other forms of payment because it's not safe for me and it's not safe for you. Because if there's a dispute or your package gets lost, there's no paper trail. It's just the best way to keep everybody in line. Ah! We don't do just in cases on this channel. There's absolutely nothing wrong with just in cases. Lots of people love them. I, I like them too sometimes when I really want something. It's just not something we do on this channel. I've taken a vote a couple times and they've always come up, no just in case. So majority rules here in the Withering Cottage. Um, like I said, Redheaded Kitty Cat is gonna be our bid beginner and ender tonight. So huge thank you to Redheaded Kitty Cat. Yes, if you could please um, pay your invoice within 48 hours, that would be really, really appreciated. Um, I put a lot of time and effort into packing your packages the best that I can. So I just ask in return that you pay within 48 hours. Usually your packages go out no later than Saturdays. Sometimes if there's a tiny human emergency, Monday at the absolute latest, and you will get your invoices Wednesdays or Thursdays, depending on one of those. Um, also, before we get started, um, it was a real, it was a real, a real stressful week. It was a real stressful week. A lot went on here in the Withering Cottage. And so unfortunately, I was not able to go out and get you guys um, some giveaways tonight. So that's terrible. I feel like a really bad friend. But to make up for it, two people at the end of the night are gonna get these, they're official. I know that because it says it, official coupon on the bottom. Two people are going to be getting $10 off of their order at the end of the sale. Of course, you do have to participate in order to get a chance to win the $10 off because that wouldn't make sense. How could you get $10 off your order if you didn't get nothing? So they are $10 off your order, official coupons from the Withering Cottage, and these will be drawn at the end of the sale to two people, and I promise to have a much better giveaway next week. I am so sorry. One more thing before we get started in tonight's sale. Every time I have a moderator on my channel, I try to pick out something that I think that they will like just to thank them for donating their time to me and to you guys because um, it's three hours of their day that Redheaded Kitty Cat is just volunteering. So huge thank you. So I did ask her to email me some things that she collected and liked. And in one of those uh, things she had mentioned was antique or vintage makeup. So redheaded kitty cat, I did pick this up for you. It is this beautiful gold filigree little lipstick holder. And then two vintage tubes of lipsticks. This one has rhinestones on it. It is missing one rhinestone right there but I still thought it was really sweet in the gold case. And then this little gold one is marked on the bottom, Revlon 576. So a huge thank you to you, Redheaded Kitty Cat. Thank you so much for donating your time. And this is a gift to you. I didn't ship out your other gift. I, I'm trying to save like two weeks together and ship them out to you at once. So thank you so much. And Pee Wee, I'm sorry, I don't have any Murano chandeliers this evening. I hate that for you. I'm constantly looking, but they're just, they're a little difficult to come by for, you know, resale prices, but I'm never giving up. And I promise you, Pee Wee, if I ever bring a Murano chandelier, you better bid on it. <laughs> Hi, 
Tex Mex 124. Welcome in. Hi, Natu. Thank you so much. Also, I do draw my numbers from the Withering Cottage Cottage um, just because I don't like to think about what I'm going to offer next. It stresses me out. And again, if you do purchase tonight, you will be in the drawing for the $10 off coupon. All right. This first pair of items, it's a pair, you're going to get both, is going to start at $25. And I did research these a long time ago. I've had these for a while. And they have a name. And they're spectacular. They're, they're well, they're probably anywhere from 1870s to 1910, somewhere in that era. And they are stunning. And you're getting the pair. And I, I feel like an idiot because I can't remember the origin of these. But they are spectacular. These are like true creme de la creme antiques. They're just absolutely beautiful. They are a pair of these hand-painted apothecary jars. The starting bid is 25 for the pair. I got these at an antique mall last year and I just fell in love with them. They are so just well executed, so fancy. They have this beautiful like enameled paint on them. They are three-dimensional, completely hand-painted. They both have their original stoppers and they've got the frosted, the frosted um, seal right here so that when you twist this in, it just, it's delicious. This one right here is just about seven inches. Yes, for the pair, seven inches by three and a half. And all of that paint is just perfectly, perfectly intact. Absolutely stunning. And then on the bottom, they've got the poncil mark, it is beautifully, gosh, why are words so hard? Because I haven't talked to adults in two weeks, that's why. The bottoms are beautifully polished, and you can see a little painted number six on the bottom. And it is beautiful. It is an antique apothecary perfume, just oil jar, absolutely stunning. And then for the second one, which is just so crazy that they've stayed together all this time. Now, this one is very clean on the inside. This one does have some oxidation from water or whatever liquid was in there. However, the paint is still pristine. Absolutely beautiful. Here's the back. And then this one has a little number 22 on the bottom with that beautiful polished pontal mark. It's right up there. And this one is five by three. And again, the paint is just in pristine condition. It's got the same stopper, no chips or cracks, and they make such a presence. I think they're beautiful and they're, they're so different. I loved them. But we are going to start the countdown. Thank you so much, Leah, and thank you so much, Jill. We're going to start the countdown at 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one. Bid end. These are so beautiful. So fancy. Fancy, fancy, fancy. Do you guys like my Christmas decor? I know Jason's dying at my Santa. You know, if Jason, if you're watching, I almost thought about bringing him to the sale on Saturday. It's still up in the air. Tell me how you feel about that. Tell me how you feel about that, Jason. I know you're lurking. Those are going to go to Lisa Jens for 55. Thank you so much, Lisa. Potentially 45 if you give the giveaway, get the giveaway. You've been killing it on those giveaways, Lisa. The, yep, this is Grumpy Santa. He's new around here. He's new around these here parts. He was here. 
Look, Molly knows he's grumpy. He was here last year. He's probably mad because he was in storage for a year. He's very unhappy with me. Oh, man. We're just getting off going strong tonight. Just right for the guts. <laughs> that is, I don't think that's what I meant to say. Gusto, I think is what I meant to say. I don't want to go for your guts. That's so weird. All right. This item <laughs> is probably one of the most expensive starts I've had on my channel. Like the whole time I've been doing this other than maybe a bittersweet swung vase or something like that. But this piece is going to start at $75. Um, I know you it do, I know you guys don't really care to hear this, but I did pay up quite substantially for this piece, but it, it's totally worth it. Totally worth it. And if there is no interest, I totally understand, but that's just what I have to start it off at. But look, oh my gosh, who is she selling off all her jewelry caskets? She's a crazy person and I know it. This is an amazing vintage beveled glass with one, two, three, four, five windowed jewelry casket. So these, I've been collecting these for a long time, but they are getting so popular that like, you, you can't touch them. You, you, you just can't touch them. Um, I was able to find this one at an estate sale. They did know what they had. It was behind the fancy desk and the fancy glass cabinet. But I couldn't leave it behind. Um, it's in beautiful condition. It's one of the cleanest ones I've found. So, and not only that, this is a huge one. Okay, it's so big. So this is, oh gosh, like five. My husband hates when I do measurements wrong. Five and three fourths around. Um, but it does go out further, so that's just to the glass, but it does come out on the side. So I'm going to go and give you guys a closer look. So all the glass is held in with these beautiful prongs, and it's got lovely detail all the way around the top. And then look at the leaf detailing around all the sides. It's got the beveled glass windows completely all the way around. It's got four beautiful feet, absolutely stunning. And now what these were used for is jewelry back in the day was very expensive. I mean, you know, Walmart wasn't pumping out costume jewelry like they are nowadays. So if you had a piece of jewelry, you probably saved up unless you were very well to do for quite a while to have that piece of jewelry. So this was a lovely way to display your jewelry when you weren't wearing it and you could still admire it. Um, so you would put this on your dressing table and be able to look at all your pretties in there even when you weren't, you know, wearing them. And it still has its original little handle right here and those are usually missing. It's got its original hinge, beautiful. And also the interior is so clean. It's just got a couple of age spots but not that bad. I really don't think the Rolex is real, Brooke. I really, really don't. And then here's the bottom. And all of the side panels and the top are beveled cut glass as well. Also, they are all prong set. Very little scratching, very minimum wear. Light, light patina. It's just a stunner and it's it's a big one. I love it so much. But thank you guys so much. Sorry, I have to watch the chat down here. So if I'm missing your comments, I am so sorry. But thank you, Southern Vintage Grown and Colleen. Cookies for vintage. Um, we, wow, Ragdoll really wants it. So, Ragdoll, it's yours for $15,090. Done. I'm just kidding. But we are gonna start the countdown on this absolutely amazing vintage jewelry casket. So 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bid end. Hi, Evie. I love that name. Evie. Evie. I'm trying to think of where I had that. 
right there. I don't want to drop it. It's our skirt. Ragdoll, you did it, and you didn't even have to pay $15,000. Congratulations. That's a fantastic piece. Um, I'm very sad to see it go, as with most of my things, because I'm a hoarder. But I'm so glad it's going to a good home, and maybe you'll get $10 off in the giveaway. Thank you so much, Ragdoll, and congratulations. Congratulations. <gasps> Ragdoll, you did it. If you're new here, you're like, what the heck is special about number 27? Well, really nothing is special, but it's kind of fun. So this is the part of the sale, and I can't believe I drew it like so early on. This is the part of the sale where the person before I pull this number gets to tell me what kind of item they would like for me to go scour my withering hoard for and bring back an offer to you guys. I just asked that it not be too, too specific because like the chances of me having a purple frog sipping tea with the Queen of England figurine is like kind of slim. So just like keep it kind of vague, like glass, pottery, Christmas, whatever, Victorian, jewelry, earrings, necklace, something like that. And I hopefully can provide. So Ragdoll, if you don't mind giving me a little um, hint as to something you would like for me to try to go find and bring back fresh picked. Now, mind you, these items might be a little dirty because I haven't processed them yet because it's all a surprise to me and to you. So I'll clean it though before uh, I sell it. Any doll or person figurine, thank you for not making them have to be drinking tea with the Queen of England. Okay, doll or person figurine. All right, give me just one minute. Doll or person figurine. been a collapse in the withering cottage. Okay, hang on. I found a contender. Okay, I think I got one. So, she's not a person figurine. She is a doll. So if you don't like dolls, maybe tune away and come back. I like her. She's a little cleaner than most dolls I sell. Usually I sell more of the haunted ones, but she has potential to be haunted at some point. Um, we're going to start her at $14. She is, like I said, a little cleaner than ones I usually offer. But there was something about her face. Okay, so here she is. Look at her little bow legs. I kind of like her like that. I kind of like her like that. Okay, so I'm going to start off with her face. She is a um, ceramic doll with glass eyes, hand painted. She is in the style. Now, although I collect dolls, I actually don't know very much about them, um, surprisingly. But she's in the style of like an early German doll. Now, on her neck, she is marked... Two, six, eight, Paris, RP84. Two, six, eight, Paris, RP9, or not, there's no 19. I don't know why I said that. It's just 84, 84. She's starting at $14. Now, she is um, ceramic face with inset glass eyes, beautifully painted. Her hands are composite. And so are her legs. She does come with this little embroidered pocketbook. And then she's wearing her petticoat. She has got a composite body as well. And her little bloomers. She's got her stockings and her leather shoes. She also does come on her um, doll stand. The doll stand's marked imsco i don't think it's original to her um but she is in beautiful condition she is jointed her knees and her elbows are jointed so if you took her off the doll stand she could sit and look at those chunky cheeks 
Yeah, she looks like a French German doll. French German doll, especially with those eyebrows. They're very reminiscent of that style. She's got a beautiful wig, her bonnet, and if you're curious, she is about 11 inches tall. So she's a very good size to just kind of sneak into your doll collection. She won't take up too very, too very much room, but I really, really like her. And um, I like her legs like this. <laughs> but we are gonna start the countdown on her. Thank you so much, Ragdoll. So 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, no marks, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bid end. Bid end. I love the side eye. It's a permanent side eye. She's so gumpy. She belongs with Gumpy Santa. Grumpy Jill. And that is gonna go to, I think Ragdoll, cause there's no, yes, Ragdoll. Sorry, I saw the bid start, that confused me. Ragdoll, she is yours. Thank you so much. And thank you for helping out. I'm glad you love her. I love her too. That was a fun pick, I love dolls. I know they're not for everybody, but I particularly enjoy them. Okay, this piece is really pretty. Send her, if it's real French, send her to Mr. Todd. I don't know though, Ragdoll. You think about it. I'll make a note about possible. Possible Todd. And then you let me know. She's marked Paris on her neck. I can tell you that. All right, this next item I thought was so beautiful. And this person put a piece of tape on the bottom, so I hate that. But we're gonna start this off at $10. And this is made in West Germany, and it's an iris import, Irving Rice Co. Incorporated NYC, so New York City. That is the original foil sticker. Someone did put a piece of tape on there because the I didn't do it. I would never have done that. The foil sticker was coming off, so they put a piece of tape on there to hold it in place. So I'm going to leave that on there, but it does have the original West Germany label on the bottom. And it is this beautiful, absolutely beautiful, like very light blue. I know it's not coming up blue probably for you, but it is a beautiful like periwinkle, like a light, light blue etched glass West German perfume bottle. But my favorite, favorite part is the top. Look at that gorgeous rhinestone flower. It's a little dusty. It's a little dusty, dusty moose. But it is so pretty. And it does still feel like it pumps. It doesn't feel locked up. The top does unscrew. And it has got a brass top. It's got the little itemizer right there. Now it doesn't have like the pump kind, you just push this down. But look at that prong set rhinestone top with the Aurora Borealis in the center. I thought it was so pretty and so different. Would look just absolutely lovely on your vanity or in your bathroom counter. And again, it's not coming up, but it is a very, very light periwinkle. Per periwinkle. And it plays off the blue in those rhinestones lovely. And these are pear-shaped on the stopper. And it has a really lovely kind of filigree. Um, almost reminds me of a fan etched design on the side with some leaves. And then again with the original foil sticker. I'll read it to you one more time. Made in West Germany and in an iris import, Irving Rice and Co. Incorporated NYC. And it is about three and a half inches. But I that top, that top got me, man. That was just too pretty. Too pretty. Thank you guys so much. We are gonna start the countdown on this beautiful perfume bottle. 
It's just sparkling all over the place. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bid and Hi, Jamie. Hi, Samantha Richard. I'm just going to set that right down. Woo! Scared me. When perfume stores had looked. I know. I think about, I don't know about y'all. Probably not. It's probably just me. Heather, congratulations. But I think about time travel like a ridiculous amount of times during the day. Like, a ridiculous amount of times. Like, I think, oh my gosh, how cool would it be to time travel to this era? How cool would it be to see this happen in this era? Or or I'll hear something. Even like, I'll be watching Judge Judy. Thank you so much, Heather. And be hearing a case and I'll be like, man, how cool would it be to time travel and see who's telling the truth? Even like five years ago. Like, be there. Like, if I could have any superpower, it would be a three-part superpower, okay? And it's my superpower, so don't tell me the rules. One, it would be time travel, obviously. Two, it would be that I could do and talk to and see anybody I wanted to while I was there, and it would not alter the future. Time would just reset as if I was never, ever there, right? So I couldn't, like, stop a murder from happening. I couldn't do anything like that, but I could see, like, a who done it, or, like, how it went down, or just see like really anything I wanted to see that I ever ever questioned and the third part would be that while I was in time travel present time didn't progress so like I could be gone in the 1800s for like a year and I'd come back and my life would be exactly where I left it that would be my superpower okay and like I said I've thought about this quite a lot so yes I do need all three parts <laughs> okay that would be my superpower and it would be awesome it would be so cool all right this next lot hi Susan is gonna start off at $12 and you're gonna get everything you see here I didn't count them but there's a lot and I'm gonna move through them kind of fast because I bought a group of these at an estate sale so I have quite a few so I've just lotted them all together so just to remind you okay yes that part too that's just implied, Miss Ash. I mean, I mean, I didn't say it, but like, that's part four. <laughs> that's part four. Um, and I couldn't die in the past either, obviously. So five, five parts. Five. Um, so <laughs> this is a lot starting at $12. Not each piece. It's not choice. So this is a lot of vintage, um, are they brass? Pewter? Some kind of pencil sharpeners. <laughs> So, the first one, and they're all pencil sharpeners. So, if you want a collection of vintage figural pencil sharpeners, you get the whole lot. The first time, I was reading Lindy's. <laughs> the first one is a cannon, and the sharpener on this one is right in the front. I love the patina on these, so they are metal. And so that is a figural little cannon. The second one, and they all move in some way, like the cannon, its wheels spin. This one is a cowboy boot with a spur. And then the sharpener on this one is inside the boot. The boot. So that is the cowboy boot. You're going to get this little um, fireplace. Now think parts, words. Pieces like this work great in doll houses. Um, then you have the little fire. Why can I not speak? What are you called? Chimney? Fireplace? Wood stove? And this one, the little door opens right there. And then its pencil sharpener is on the back. Then you're going to be getting the windmill. Hi, Shabby Wonder. And the pencil sharpener is on the back of the windmill. And that's how that one does. So far we're up to four. You're gonna get an airplane. 
And this one's pencil sharpener is right back here. And this one, the little propellers on the front move. So that's five. Then you're getting this grinder. And that moves like that. And this comes up to put your wheat or whatever you need in there. And then the sharpener is on the back of the bottom of that one. I'm going to stop counting them until I get to the end. Then you're going to get your knight in shining armor. And this one's weird, I think, because the pencil sharpener is in his face. Bet you weren't expecting that. Bet you thought it'd be on the bottom, but it's not. It's on his face. So that's kind of weird. Then you're getting this, speaking of a covered wagon, it's not a covered wagon, it's a car, but it's kind of close to a covered wagon. This one, um, the top comes off if you want it to, and the wheels spin. Oh, Leah, send me that. I want to read that. And then you've got your grinder for sharpening your metal. This one, the sharpener is right there. I just think these are so fun. This one's probably my favorite of the lot. It is a little globe. And it says, made in Hong Kong on the back. I just love that patina. And this one, the pencil sharpener's on the back. Okay, I lied. <laughs> I did lie. This one. I saved the best for last. This one is my favorite. It's a toilet. <laughs> hey, if you got your penny dolls, or just small dolls in general, where do they go to the bathroom? Do you ever ask yourself that question? If the answer is you don't know, you need this. Because where are they going in your house? That's weird. So this is a little toilet. Again, they do work good for doll houses. And this one... You have the girls that lift up and then the boys. And the back opens. And what's cool is the pencil sharpener is back there. Isn't that fun? So you're going to be getting all of them. So there's one, two, three, four, five. I couldn't resist. Six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, and eleven. You do not, Rachel. That's amazing. Um, so we're going to start the countdown on these at 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 6, 5, Four, three, two, and one. Bid end. Could y'all imagine someone coming here to the first time, for the first time and seeing me do that? <laughs> I wonder how many people are like, what am I watching? Same. I get it. I don't know what's wrong with me. Lizzie, thank you so, so much and congratulations. You're going in for the $10 coupon giveaway. If you guys weren't here at the beginning, I slacked off this week and I wasn't able to go out and get giveaways. So I made official coupons. I know they're official because they say that. Um, $10 off your order coupons. At the end of the night, two people are going to get them. So thank you so much. <gasps> Lizzie, you do? How fun. They're really cute. I have my favorites over here. So these are the ones I'm keeping. I've got like... The little high chair. I've got the little safe. These are my favorites from my collection. And I've got the little fireplace. I collect just about everything, truth be told. It's very dangerous. Very dangerous. Okay, so we sold the big daddy. Okay, now we're gonna sell the little baby. Now, this one is very unique to me, especially from someone who is a jewelry casket collector. <laughs> After I just told you, I collect everything. So I guess that doesn't hold much merit now, does it? Um, but this one's really unique. So this is going to start at, um, let's start this one off at $18. $18. Now, this one somehow got past me on the wipe down process, and I do apologize. 
but this one is very unique to me. So this one is in a silver metal and it has got some beautiful designs along the sides. And this one is a very sweet little size. Yes, absolutely, Catherine. Look at the front of that and the beautiful little legs that protrude out. And this one also has the beveled cut glass with the prong set, um, prongs in the top and it's got a kind of far protruding little opener right here but what's unique about this piece is it has a paper bottom um and it is foiled on the interior that paper is and i've just not seen one quite like this in size or color um I've had it for quite some time, hoarding it, of course. And this one is a really sweet size. So this one's only three inches across. So like, not that like all of you are like getting ready to propose or anything, but imagine just giving, okay, we don't even have to go to proposal. Imagine, imagine giving somebody a piece of jewelry for Christmas or their birthday but put it in something like this and gift it, gift it to them. I mean, put like a little hanky in there and then the jewelry and then gift it to them to, like that. It just makes it, I feel like that much more special. Um, and also fun fact, I've said this before, you will, will okay. you will never receive a jewelry casket empty from me. I will always ship it with a piece of jewelry in there because it's rude not to, I think. Well, for me, I can't speak for other people. But I will always put a piece of jewelry in any jewelry box that I sell because it's just fun for me to gift something to you to start your, your jewelry collection. But we are gonna start the countdown on this. It is just darling. So 15, thank you so much, Hawk's Nest, 14. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Big end. So pretty. My stuff I brought tonight is kind of all over the place. So if that's your vibe, Stay, stay, stay tuned because there's a little bit of everything tonight, seems like. Dusty Moose, thank you so much and congratulations. Dusty Moose, that goes to you. Thank you, thank you. I keep seeing this in the background. It doesn't display that nice, but look how good these are. They're not for sale yet. Holt Howard many winking santa mugs in their original bag i cannot take them out of the bag but they just don't display the best but i can't take them out of the bag that would be catastrophic catastrophic you're going in for the giveaway congratulations or the coupon you're going in for the coupon susan lynn i can't Almost everything back there is Holt Howard, except for my Harold Gale and Grumpy Santa. Alrighty then. This next piece is probably the smallest item I'm bringing tonight. And normally I probably wouldn't sell him all by himself. I'd pair him with something, but I almost felt like he was just special enough to stand on his own. So he's gonna start off at $8 tonight. And he very much reminds me of Sabino Glass. Now. I'm probably wrong because I'm wrong like all the time. Um, is, is this Sabino glass made with like arsenic? Is that how it gets its color? Or did I make that up in my brain? Something similar to arsenic, if not arsenic. Yes, okay, ding, 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 I did it. So I do believe that although this is not marked Sabino that I saw, unless I'm just missing it, um, I imagine that it was also made with arsenic, which is kind of cool. but. Don't like 100% believe me. I'm just, that's just what my gut's telling me. But you believe your own gut. So he's starting off at $8. And it is this lovely, um, gosh, how do you even describe Sabino? 
Again, not Mark Sabino. How do you even describe Sabino style glass? The colors on this are insane. Like, I'm just holding it up in natural light. Yeah, it's like translucent moon opal. It is a frog. Sorry, I got it. I got ahead of myself, Sharon. Um, it's like opalescent, translucent, opal, rainbow, unicorns, mermaids. It's just the coolest glass that I think exists. I mean, it's got every color in it but it's milky and opalescent at the same time. It's got a fog to it, but it's like you're holding something you're not supposed to. There's just nothing else that works like this than like this kind of glass. It is the most insane glass and it is just a little frog, a little, a little frog. But the glass, like when you see it in person, it's just insane. It like glows in your hand. This in your windowsill would be such a conversation piece, but just fun to see every day. Like it really fluoresces without any, any, anything. Like look at this compared to like a regular piece of glass. Not that this isn't beautiful, but it's just like, whoa. It's so cool. I love him. Ribbit, little frog. And he is glass. And he is just about two inches. Whimsical glass, absolutely. But we are gonna start the countdown on him at 15. I almost, I'm just gonna let y'all deep dive into my brain real quick. I almost smelt it, cause I was like, I wonder what arsenic would smell like if you could still smell it. But that seems very dangerous. <laughs> Not that this is dangerous, but why would my brain tell me to smell that? And then why would I then in turn tell you that my brain told me to do that? Just keeping it real over here at the Withering Cottage. <laughs> we are gonna start the countdown on this uh, do not scratch and sniff frog at 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Pin it. Yep. No takesies backsies when you're live, folks. You say what you say and you can't take it back. <laughs> Trust me, I've learned that the hard way quite a few times. Desmiones, everyone. Desmiones. Lizzie, you got the frog. Congratulations, Lizzie. Lizzie, for 32, you got yourself an arsenic frog. Yay. What's next? 18. Okay, this is a cool lot. And I know these items are like special, but I don't know enough about them because I can't possibly know everything about everything. But I will tell you, you all know that I've been religiously watching Antiques Road Trip. And this just made me feel like something they would buy on Antiques Road Trip. <clears throat> so this is a three part lot. And just because I don't know how to price it, you guys are gonna be the judge. I'm gonna start it off at 14 and you guys take it away from there, Earl. All right, so the first piece is this very cool Art Deco pen holder. So it is a, I want to say bronze, but I'm not gonna, because I don't know. Some kind of metal Scotty dog. And then a Mooney, <laughs> Mooney, I'm so good at this. A sphere, no, sphere is a circle of some kind of stone marble something along those lines it is stone something like that and it is just a beautiful little vintage probably 1940s or so pen holder okay and it is two and a half inches two and a half inches yes and this is for all three pieces and now the other two pieces are pens 
but I don't know anything about pens. I know that pens can be collectible and I have a feeling that these are something that could be special, but I just don't know. And I, I didn't look them up because I don't have time to look up everything. But look at this little travel pen. Now it does have like a piece of black onyx or some sort of black stone on the top. And it's in this like cracked ice, um, probably Bakelite pen or uh, pencil. I can't quite get it to open. Maybe you could play with it, but look at how fun and sweet that little size is. So that is the first one that's coming with it. And then the second one, I believe to be Edwardian, possibly, if not Edwardian 1920s or so. And it is on a chain. Now I think originally the chain would have had a fob on the other side and you could have attached it to your pocket watch. So a gentleman would have carried this in his like, you know, top coat pocket. And this one is in enamel. Um, now the enamel on this one has flaked off and chipped quite a bit, but it does have its original chain. And I think it's just such a fun little lot. And they look really nice, just kind of clustered together like this. You can play with it, put them however you want. But I think it's so fun and different. And I gotta love a figure old dog figurine. But thank you so much, Miss Stevens. We are going to start the countdown, and you're getting all three pieces. So 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bid end. Bid end. Are you, are you coming to the tree? I got a fuzz ball. I got a fuzz ball. And oh, 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 I can't look. <clears throat> and there it goes to Carol Bloom. Congratulations, Carol. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate you guys. I was the same way, Verlaine. I was the same way. Like, I remember being like 10 and on my friend's property, her family had like a broke down car. And I remember going through the glove box and finding all the like old papers. I played with those papers for hours because that was weird. But that was just me. I'm trying to think where those items are. Oh, they're there. Okay, I kind of want to do these just to get it over with because I'm kind of nervous. So I think I'm going to break the rules of drawing a number and I'm just going to do it. Like rip off the band-aid, you know? Okay. I made these. <laughs> So y'all better be nice. Now, if you don't want to buy them, don't buy them. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. Because <laughs> I work my butt off on these and I really like them. They're different um, and I made them. So, and there's a lot that went into them, not only like material wise, but time, man. Time went into these. Um, I'm going to start them at... Oh, I have such a hard time, like, coming up with a price for something I made. Because you can't, like, put... I can't look it up. Um, I'm going to do... If I start too high, you guys are going to think I'm conceited. If I start too low, I'll be sad. <laughs> what do I do? Um, I'm going to start them at... Just started at 99 cents, Pee Wee. That's what you think of me? Hi, Lucinda Walker. Um, I'm gonna start them at $35. Just cause material. Material alone, okay? I'm starting them at $35. So this is gonna be choice. I have two available. If you don't hate them, you can pick one or the other. You get, you get to choose one. 
I don't charge for my time because I that stresses me out. I don't know. I'm only charging for the thing. Okay. So I love these. Ooh. And I made them. And I hope you don't hate them. So these are <laughs> these are my trees. Now, if you can and you have the time, please come back on Saturday if you like these because I will have more of these available on Saturday and some other things that are very similar to this. So these are my handmade Christmas trees. And they are 12, 13, 14, about 15 inches tall. And they, oh, I don't know where to start. Okay, so they are made out of tinsel and um, under the, so the tinsel is on the bottom and then around it is this beautiful like champagne colored wreath material. And all around them are vintage and antique buttons with um, chenille trim. And they are all old buttons. They're not reproductions or anything like that. And then I started making these with reflectors and I do still have some, but the problem with the reflectors, I have some that are made with the reflectors, but the problem with the reflectors is that they are so expensive Then to like start these, I'd have to start them at like $50 a piece. And I didn't want to do that. So what I did was I bought some vintage tart tins and some of them I spray painted in this like beautiful, like antique brass color and others. I just left there with them with like their original patina. All of the tartans have the buttons in the center with the chenille around them. Um, all the buttons are different. And then this one at the top, you have this tartan with the anchor in the middle. And then at the very top, you do have a metal vintage Christmas candle reflector. And this one has a little bell button on the top. And then on the bottom too, um, the trees themselves, they didn't come tinseled. I bought new trees, but I did all of this work myself. They are brand new and they come with a battery pack, but I still have the try me button. So you're not gonna be able to see from far away, but they do light up with little twinkle lights. So that is the first one. And then I'll do one quick spin. They were kind of inspired by like the Grinch. I was always obsessed with the Grinches when he made her that Christmas tree topper. I was always obsessed with that as a kid. So they're loosely inspired by that. So this is the first one. And then the second one is very similar and I should be able to get through it a little bit quicker. It's the same style, but the difference with this one is of course the buttons and the tins are all different. This one has a like rhinestone button and that bigger button. And then this one at the top, instead of the bell, it has a, what did you, what do you say? Something, it's like a lion, lion emblem. And it is the same height and it also does light up. There you go, you can kind of see. It looks better at night. <laughs> and then they are empty, so you can, if you really wanted to, um, use them as tree toppers as well. I know they're a lot, but I'm a lot. So there you go for your health. But we are going to start the countdown on choice. You can choose. I know Martha, where are you? Snoop Dogg. You're going to be able to choose. We're just going to say this one is bell and you can see the reflector on this one kind of is circular with the pointier edges. And this one's more of like a starburst. So if you get the opportunity to get one, you can choose either um, lion button or bell button. Um, but we are gonna start the countdown on these at 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one, bid end. Bid end. Oh, I shouldn't have put them down yet. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. And yes, these made my fingers bleed because there's way more work in these than you would think. They were intense, but not as intense as the other things I made, which 
Do you guys want me to show you a sneak peek? Kelly Smith, thank you so much, Kelly. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's felt so good to get crafting again. Kelly Smith, thank you. Would you like the lion pin topper, lion button topper, or the bell button topper? And a huge thank you too for Rachel at the Rusty Snail and Pamela Blanchard for helping me find the buttons because I was struggling. I was struggling. So just let me know, Kelly. Thank you so much. And then Miss Carol, you will be on on deck if um, Kelly doesn't get the one you were going for. Oh, really? Thank you so much, Kelly. That is so sweet. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you, Kelly. Oh, thank you. Okay. Now I'm gonna show you a sneak peek of some of the items I'm bringing on Saturday. I said I wasn't gonna do this, but I'm a failure. Okay, hang on. These right here are really what killed me. These are what killed me dead. I spent days and days and days working on these. And days. Now let me emphasize by saying really quickly that, okay, remember these will be available on Saturday if you like them. Let me emphasize by saying these are 100% handmade, the entirety of them, the like background, all of it. So here are some that are gonna be available on Saturday. So these are wreaths made completely out of antique and vintage buttons and Christmas tree reflectors. I made the entire thing. All of the, the these are pretty much sewn on by hand. Every little piece is tied on individually by hand. Took me about a day to make each one. So these are gonna be available. Love those. And then also, these will be available on Saturday also. And these are the matching. And I swear I won't make like a hundred of these um, because I don't want to overdo them. But these are the tree toppers. Don't they look like the Grinch ones? You know what I'm talking about? But like not, but kind of. This one I like because it kind of looks like a dragon eye. Just something a little different. So these are going to be the tree toppers. And they also light up. Same way. I don't know if you can see, but they light up too. So those are gonna be the tree toppers. So fun. So fun. So that is what I've been up to. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you, Kelly. Thank you so much. And then I also have more on next Thursday on Amy and Pam and mine sale. I know it didn't it remind you of Mar Martha May Julier or whatever. Okay, <gasps> this next piece I love. I bought like six of these I think at Scott's Antique Show, which hopefully I'll go to this week too. Um, months and months ago. And I love this piece so much. So this is gonna start at $18. And this is a Victorian lithophane panel. This would have been a huge like light fixture in your house. But if you find one of these complete, they are hundreds of thousands of dollars. This is just one piece of them, but it is a piece of history and they're beautiful and they're Victorian and they just don't make things like this anymore. Okay, so here it is starting off at $18. Ta-da! I know, so unimpressive, right? This is such a beautiful piece of just goodness. I love these so much. Now we've seen lithophanes in like fairy lamps and things like that, but these panels are just gorgeous. So here is an up close of this one. It is a very, very thin, like 
porcelain, but it kind of feels like a bone china. It's more kind of matte on the back and it has a little bit of a gloss to the front. And it is about five and a quarter inches, okay? Now, this doesn't look like much, right? It's just like, bleh, it's like whatever. But the way that lithophanes work is they use shadow work. So the shadow work is what really makes these things come alive. Yes, Lisa, it's a lamp panel, but it is completely porcelain. But let me show you, okay? Let me show you. So you, what I would do and what I do do with these is I put them in my uh, window sills because when light hits through these, they take your breath away. I'm gonna try, but this is like a UV light, so it doesn't give the right kind of glow as like natural light or um, like a standard light bulb, but see how it, that light's blue? I hate that. Um, but the details just come alive when light is behind this. Again, I wish I had a natural light so that all those details would really come through. Um, this kind of stinks. Let me try a black light. Oh no, that's way worse. But I'm telling you, the details just from the shadow of these. So all of that is just made by shadow because if you see it's three dimensional. So when you light, see how our eyes are just kind of like whatever, but then when you light them up, isn't that amazing? The de Look at the folds on his little skirt, folds of her dresses, their curls in their hair, the leaves on the trees. Look at the flowers over there. The little toes. It's like a magic trick. I love these so much. They are stunning. Little pieces of history. Just so fascinating to me. But thank you so much, Lisa. I see you in at 18. We are going to start the countdown on this. And it is marked on the back PPM41. PPM41. So... Again, here's the back. Just not that impressive unless it's in front of light. And you can set this like in front of your lamp or something like that. They're just beautiful. But we are going to start the countdown. Hey, Birkenstock girl. So 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, three, two, and one. Hi, Edward. Long time no see, Jelly Bean. Set that right there. I love those. I have like three more. And I can only sell them like months apart because I have a problem. <laughs> Lisa Jens, congratulations. And thank you so much, Lisa. Thank you, thank you, dear. That would work. Yeah, just make sure it's on there securely because if that broke, it would break my heart. Break my heart. Okay, we're going real rogue here. We've had a lot of Victorian. A good bit of antiques. Let's do just a teeny tiny bit of kitsch. So these are going to start at $10 each. Not each. You're getting the pair. $10 is a start on these. And I just fell in love with them when I saw them um, because they're weird. And that's pretty much my go-to. If it's weird, I like it. So $10, a little bit of um, Japanese kitsch. Frosty to show me. They are ceramic made in Japan. Hi, Linda. Snowmen, salt and pepper shakers with mustaches. Smoking a pipe. Why has it never occurred to me in all my many years of not building snowmen? Because I live in the south, but if I did, why would I not think to put a mustache on a snowman? It just seems like such an obvious thing to do. Look how dapper that look how much that mustache adds to these. Now they are in good condition. We got your pepe and your salt. 
and they're the only issue I see is a little bit of cold paint loss on the back of their hats and they do have their corks and they are marked Japan and I love their vacant eyes like they're like you know what eyes nah don't don't really need eyes but mustaches absolutely they're just so fun they are three and a quarter inches thank you miss stevens and they're just weird and i like that they have like mirroring poses they're just funny and look how poorly his buttons painted gotta love that for him but aren't they fun i know they are like that like the old rudolph ones super super cute hi lisa but we are going to start the countdown on this really adorable vintage kitsch made in Japan, dapper, frosty, Mr. Frosty to you and me, um, smoking a pipe, salt and pepper shakers. So 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, and one. Bid end. I've got a little bit of Christmas tonight. Not an overwhelmingly amount, but a little bit. A little bit. I sprinkled it in there. Hi, MJ. Do, 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 do. My house is already completely decorated for Christmas because I have no impulse control. Yep. Felicia Stoll, thank you so much. Felicia Stoll for 18. Thank you, Felicia. And don't forget, guys, if you do purchase from me tonight, you're going in the drawing to possibly win $10 off of your order tonight. And the way I do my giveaways is that for every purchase you purchase, you go in the bucket. So like one person potentially could win both of these. I can't say that they couldn't because if you bought two things, you're in there twice. So you could possibly get $20 off, um, but these are going to go to two people at the end of the evening. So let's see. Okay. Okay. This right, this right here is my cup of tea. So I've brought beautiful things sometimes, maybe if you think so. Um, and that's great. These are like what I would have in my house. I just bought these and it kills me to bring them to you. They're not like significant, but like they are 100% something that I want in my home. Um, so I figured maybe if I feel that way, maybe someone else does, maybe not, but we're going to find out. I picked these up at a barn sale this weekend or last week. Now fair warning. Okay. They are dusty. They are old, they are rusty, but that's why I like them. So if you bid on them, just know when you get them, they're not in perfect condition. And I've paired them with probably one of my all time favorite um, Victorian pieces of ephemera like that I've ever come across. So it's like a double, I really wanna keep this whammy, but I'm gonna be good. Um, I'm gonna start these at $16 just cause that's how highly I rate these, even though you might think that's garbage to be determined. <gasps> I love this. Why? But I do. But why? But I do. Okay, I'm going to start with the item that's behind here. So this is a clustered old collection of shoe presses. So you would put these in your shoes to keep them stretched out. You're getting four sets. There's four sets. Now they're tied in the middle. That's how I got them and I'm keeping them like that. I would put them on my wall like this. I sure would. They are a um, like deteriorated baby pink and baby blue color and they are metal. So they are, you know, rusted, but I like that. I think it's quirky. I think it's fun. I think it's primitive, but I just love them. I love them a lot. Um, so this is the first item you're getting, but then the second item to go with them is this. Now, I love this. This says Cupid told the stork to bring a baby girl to us, Mr. and Mrs. Kroll, name Dorothy Ruth, 
weight, five pounds, day of birth, May 24th, 1914, at 3.15 p.m. And then the postcard is post dated 1913. And it was posted on the back in 1914. But look at this postcard. It is a baby in a jewelry casket. Shut your mouth. Those are like two of my favorite things. And not only that, that's one of my favorite colors. That like old like seafoam Tiffany blue. I love everything about this. It was posted in 1914. And then what I would do is put this here like this. And then take one of my little tiny baby magnets and put that there like that. And then hang that on my wall just like that. Or put it in a bowl. That's what I would do with it. Because I love it. I know Antique Agenda. Is that not fantastic? It's a birth announcement from 1913 with a baby in a casket. Because I'm trying to get, not keep things that, like, I... <laughs> I can't explain my brain, but if nobody wants it, that's fine. I'll keep it. But I'm going to start a countdown on this at 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, <laughs> Kelly, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bid end. Are you, are you coming to the tree? Kelly Smith, look at you not hating stuff I like. I really appreciate that. Because I love this. This is so me. Hence, withering. Withering. Rusty. Falling apart. That is going to Kelly Smith. Oh, I'm so glad. Kelly Smith. I love that postcard. You're going in for the coupon. Thank you, Kelly. Number nine. Oh, this is a fun set too. Alrighty then, we're gonna start this one. I am gonna start this at 16 for one particular reason, okay? So starting at $16, you're gonna get the two. Now, they do not technically go together, but I like them together. Um, so, the first piece, the first piece is this lovely tin Art Nouveau Art Deco. It's like right teetering. Tin dusting pan. Could you imagine going to Walmart and being like, I'd like a dusting pan, please. And this is what you could buy. Girl, get out of here. That would be amazing. Look at this dust pan. I love this Grecian design along the sides. It's got a lot of Art Nouveau detailings, but those Grecians kind of remind Grecians. That Grecian design kind of reminds me of Art Deco. Now it is not in perfect condition. It is a little um, beat up. Oh, I just thought of something that my brain didn't tell me previously. Wait right there. I need to do something. I'm sure most of you know what it is, but I have to do it. Oh, dang it. That's a bummer. It's not magnetic. I like to stick magnets to just about everything. It's not magnetic, but it's still really beautiful. And it does have a place on the back that you could hang it just for like wall decor. Wall decor it is absolutely beautiful. No, it's not magnetic, Red Headed Kitty Cat. I just went to go get a magnet. It's not magnetic. I can't believe it, but it's beautiful. But then this is the part as to why I started it at 16. So you are getting this, but look at this. This is beautiful. So this is an antique, probably crumb brush or possibly a dresser brush. Um, it is in sterling silver and the bristles are horsehair. Aluminum, yes. The bristles are horsehair and it is marked sterling 1923. Oh yeah, you could put a magnet in front of it and behind it. And it is absolutely beautiful. 
It is monogrammed uh, with what looks like maybe J, H, and O, but on the other side, it is not monogrammed. So on one side it is, on one side it is not. It's in beautiful condition. The sterling mark is right there. How fancy, I know, how fancy would you be if you were like, excuse me, like, we all just have dinner parties every weekend, right? Obviously. You're like, excuse me, Uncle Jimmy. Like, let me clear your plate for you. And you just like dust up his. Or if like just you're just a mom like me and your kid spills its Cheerios, get this out. You'll feel fancy. You might be picking up Cheerios, but you'll feel fancy about it. Excuse me, tiny human. I've got to pick up your Cheerios. But tell me that's not lovely. I know they're beautiful but thank you guys so much we are going to start the countdown or brushing the hair on a hairy guy's back exactly peewee see you get it oh excuse me johnny you've got some you threw up a little right there let me get that for you honey okay go lay down oh your sister your sister ate crayons and there's cram bits everywhere let me just brush that up that's more realistic but still we're gonna start the countdown on this beautiful set at 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1 bid end. Cleaning could be fun. Here on the Withering Cottage, buy yourself some antique cleaning supplies so cleaning can be fun for you once again. That's my PSA for today. And that is gonna go to Dusty Moose. I see what you did there. See what you did there. Dusty Moose, congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. What number? 15. Oh, this is not the season to be offering this to you. And I'm well aware of that. If you're watching this and you're like, why is she selling this in November? She should save that to the summer. You're absolutely right. I should. But it was too beautiful. I couldn't not bring it even though it's not spring, but it will be. And then you're gonna wish you gotten this. So I learned somewhat about brooches from hanging out with my Katie Bug, AKA Katie Vintage and Vinyl, love her. And out of all the times of shopping with her, I have heard the name Weiss so many times it's engraved into my brain, even for me, it's stuck there. And I found a beautiful rhinestone Weiss brooch. This one is going to start at 25 because Katie taught me that Weiss is good. Weiss is a good maker and um, it's just a beautiful brooch. I can see why she recommends Weiss brooches. The quality is pretty pristine. So starting at $25, I have a beautiful blue and green Weiss butterfly brooch. Now before anybody asks, no, it does not glow. I'm sorry. No, it does not glow. But it is absolutely beautiful. They are all prong set. It is not missing any of its stones. It has both of its original antenna. There you go. It's antennas. And it is a very large brooch. It is one and two, one and two, one and two and three and four. It is about two and a half inches long and two inches this way. <laughs> yeah, that way. Um, absolutely beautiful. And I will show you on the back. It is marked Weiss right there. W E i s s and look at that puddling that's another thing i learned from katie puddling this has beautiful puddling and it's just a gorgeous piece i just didn't feel like making you guys wait till spring 
to have the opportunity to purchase this. And I don't know, and I'm not just saying this so that you buy things from me, but I am personally going to try to shop small this Christmas and support small businesses. Not saying that's why you should purchase from me, but I'm just saying as far as gifting to other people, I would love to get something like this for Christmas. So I'm gonna try to think that way this year. Like buy more antique and vintage for my friends and family. Because newer things just don't hold up like this stuff. You know what I mean? But we are going to start the countdown on this piece at 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bid end. And also, I'm going to tell you guys one more thing. I'm sure most of you already think about this and know this because you love vintage. Obviously, you're here. But when I have the opportunity to tell somebody new about what I do for a living, and let's be honest, what I do here takes up my entire life. Like vintage and antiques, like I'm a one trick pony. I'm not that interesting of a person. I like to read sometimes and I like vintage and antiques and that's about all you'll get out of me. Um, that is going to Cheryl Stevens. Thank you so much, Cheryl. So when I get the opportunity to tell somebody new who doesn't necessarily know or care about vintage, I get really excited um, because they always, a lot of times they think that it's cool but then they don't really understand it. And the way I like to break it down, now this might just be how I justify buying so much vintage and antiques, but an example I always give to them is like Hobby Lobby is great. I love Hobby Lobby for crafting things or whatever it is that you go to Hobby Lobby for. I said, but think about it this way, right? You buy a picture from Hobby Lobby and it's 50% off and you get it for $24.99, right? You get tired of it in six months to a year, maybe three years. You go to sell it. The most you'll probably get out of it is $5 at a garage sale. Maybe you could sell it on Facebook Marketplace for $10 or you'll just donate it to the thrift store. I said, now for me, an example, everything I purchase for my home as decor is an investment, right? I buy a painting from an antique store for, say I splurge and spend $60 on it. Chances are, in the three years that it would take me to eventually get sick of that painting, it will go up in value. It won't go down. Now, of course, antiques do go down, but they come back up, but they go back down. You have to know the market at the time, but everything you purchase that's vintage or antique is technically an investment because it will hold its value consistently. Um, some things have gone down, like Hummels, you know, um, and many other things. But for the most part, rule of thumb is if you buy vintage and antiques, it's an investment on your future. So what I'm saying is, is if you give somebody a vintage piece of jewelry for Christmas, that is an investment on top of a beautiful present. You know what I mean? That's all I got to say. Sorry, that was my second PSA of the day, and I'm done now. I'm just saying buy yourself vintage. It's an investment. It's a fun way to look at it. All right. I sold one of these two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. And um, this is my ceramic version of it. So this is Fallen Angel Lot 2.0. So this is going to start at $16. But you're getting an amazing jewelry box or display box as well. So $16 is a very reasonable start price. So I'm calling this my fallen angel lot because every piece of ceramic in here, forewarning, has been repaired. They are still very, very displayable, but they all have repairs. These are all from my personal collection, okay? I've taken me years to collect all these fallen angels. So the first one is this beautiful Yukago, Japan, large figurine. So it is this, now she does not fit in the box. So she is gonna, show, she's just on top. It's kind of like this. Okay, that's the vision here. 
So she is Yukago, Japan. Now, m remember, if you get excited about any of these, just remember they all have repairs. So this one had a broken wing with the broken wing and she's been decapitated. But all of it's fixed now. Um, but she was very broken at one point, but she's beautiful and she's a very large figurine. She's six inches tall. So she, she had a broken wing and then a broken, you know, and then I want to show you, this is the glass and brass display box you'll be getting. These in of themselves are pretty, um, collectible. It is in very good working condition. It has its original hinge. It's got all of its feet, the glass, the bottom, the top, and all the sides are glass of this piece. So, and it's huge. This is six and a half by five inches. So this is a very big display box. You can put anything you want in here. Lovely. So now we're gonna go through the rest of the fallen angels. So we have got a pair of these vintage um, candle huggers. They are Japan, really cute little ceramic angels. This one right here, his wings have been broken off and glued back on. And then this one, he had a broken arm that had been glued on. But these just slide down your candlesticks and you can't even tell they were broken, but I'm just showing you all the damage. Every single one of these has damage. Then we have this candle hugger. And this one right here is missing a wing entirely. Made in Japan, has its original Japan sticker on the bottom. Also a candle hugger. And then you're getting this one right here. Now this one is in pretty good condition compared to her other classmates. She is a pink ceramic Japan figurine and she has the spaghetti trim with the gold trimmed harp and she is just missing the tip of one of her wings the tip of one of her wings but she's really sweet then you're getting this girl now she's had a tough time of it she is commodore japan and she has been decapitated and her wings have broken off so she's all sorts of she's all sorts of messed up but she is a salt shaker she does have her original sticker and cork and then we have the matching one to the other candle hugger. Now this one has its wing, but at some point his arm was broken off. So there's the pair. Okay. And then the final two, which I think are the best and where I should have started with these because I think these are like the best part. Um, I have a pair of Holt Howard candle, um, candle, holders why can i not think they are both marked holt howard they have their original holt howard stickers on the bottom you would put the candle back there but unfortunately both of them are missing their wings now from the front you wouldn't even know that they had wings and truth be told too the candle if you used them as candle holders the candle on the back would hide their wings so you wouldn't even you wouldn't even see them but the front of them are in perfect condition they have beautiful spaghetti trim they are very very sweet you would never know looking at the front so this is your chance to get a little bit of holt howard at a discounted fallen angel price and then last of course you're getting this lovely large jewelry display box, whichever, whichever. And you can put whatever you want in here and then use the top to display things on too. So this could be like a fun riser for things. But um, I'm gonna, I'll never be able to get them in the way I did, but I'm gonna count them as I put them in. So you're getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then the one on top is nine, plus the box. And we are gonna start the countdown at 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, 
six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good end. Now, just so you know, whoever wins this, I will not be shipping it with the babies inside because that's dangerous. So that will be separated for shipping needs. Could you imagine if I just like threw that in a box with all them in there? Like just like, whoop, there you go. Tell you. Oh, and guess what, um, Ragdoll? I get to send you your box. I have it sitting on my shipping desk waiting for you. So you don't even have to remind me. Ragdoll, that is, those angels are coming to you. Thank you so, so much and congratulations. Oh, mom's minute. So mom is not here tonight, but mom did make some beautiful, beautiful items for you guys this evening. Um, originally I was gonna do two mom's minutes, but I think I'm gonna do them all as one mom's minute because they're, they're all the same item. And that way you could just get more, um, more options. But it's the same whether we do two mom's minutes or one. It's the same options, but they're so lovely. And she works really, really hard on these. So we are going to start them at $14 choice. And I know it might be a little complicated with choice with four options. But the more options you have, the better, right? You like options. We all like options. So these are hand um, I want to say embroidered necklaces that my mom has made and she completely hand embroidered the design on the pendants and she did not, she didn't whittle like the wood, um, frames, but she did purchase the frames and then turn, you know, then turned them into necklaces. So they're starting at $14 choice and there are four that you can choose from. So I'm going to do my best to show them the best way that I can. So these are the necklaces that she hand embroidered. So the fabric on the inside is like um, a white kind of canvas embroidery um, fabric. And then I'll show you one at a time. And then she em hand embroidered each design onto the canvas with, you know, a needle and thread. And then she framed them in these beautiful um, wooden like mini, oh, I forget what those are called. You know, you use them for embroidering. So this one is a blue bird with two pink hearts. And this one has a like tan colored chain. The pendant on this one is about an inch and a half. And then this one, the second one, is an oval shaped one. This one's circular. This one is oval and this one has a darker brown frame and this one has a lighter brown frame and that one has a bird in it as well with pink flowers, pink and white flowers surrounding it. And then the third option, yes, hoop. Thank you, I couldn't think of that. This one is a heart frame with a pink flower and purple lavender. And again, all of that is hand sewn by her. And this one comes on a purple, um, and the chains are like a waxed, a waxed, um, 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 like, almost feels like leather. And then the fourth one is another oval bird but the difference between this one and this one is this one has two hearts and purple flowers and this one has just pink flowers and then the one at the top has two hearts so this one and this one have the hearts this one is a entire heart with the lavender and then this one is oval with the blue bird and the pink flowers and how we're going to differentiate them for you guys before the countdown, I will show you. So with the ovals, we're gonna call this one purple and this one pink, okay? So purple oval or pink oval, and then this one's just heart, and this one is round bird, okay? And we are gonna start the countdown. Thank you guys so much. 
So 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Big end. Big end. That's actually very tiring on my hand. Turns out I wasn't a hand model in a previous lifetime. Whew. And that is going to go to Kelly in Texas. Thank you so much, Kelly. My mom would say you honor her. Thank you so much, Kelly. Now, Kelly, which one or ones can I get you? You can get more than one if you choose, but we are calling this one Round Bird. Whoop, did you see that catch? We're calling that one Round Bird. And then we're calling this one Pink, pink Bird, Heart or purple bird. I know, like how does she do that? They're so tiny. They're so tiny and they're handmade, which is just so sweet. So just let me know which one or ones I could get you. No, no rush, I'm fine really. My arm is fine. Heart and round bird. Absolutely, dear. Kelly in Texas. Thank you so much, dear. Are you going to, I'm just curious. You don't have to answer me. Are you keeping these for you or are you going to give them, gift them? I just want to know. Heart, please, and round bird. Okay, round bird. And that is... Oh, that's so sweet. I hope she loves it. Heart. Okay. Thank you so much, Kelly. All right. Next up was going to be Nicole Meyer. Now, Nicole, did you have any interest in one of these for 16? The pink bird or the purple bird? You can say pass if you want to. There's no harm in that. If Kelly got the one you were going after for, that just happens with choice. So if Kelly got the one you were going for, you can say pass, no problem. And then we've got Verlaine and then Pee Wee. If um, Nicole doesn't want either. So just be thinking Verlaine and Pee Wee if there's one. Okay, Pee Wee said pass, thank you Pee Wee. That is actually very helpful. Okay, um, Nicole, which one would you like, purple or pink? Pink. Pink. I got, okay. <laughs> I was like, is she saying never mind or is she saying pink? I got it. So that is going to you and then Pee Wee passed. So perfect. Thank you guys so very much. And that is going to you for 16. Oh, and then Verlaine. Sorry, Verlaine. Did you have any interest in this one for 14? Verlaine. Verlaine. Oh, perfect. You got it. Thank you so much. And I do think you're new to me, Verlaine. So welcome, first and foremost. Um, thank you so much for being here. Um, and then also, if you don't mind, if you haven't already, sending me your information to my email in the description box below. It's the.withering.cottage at gmail.com. And thank you so much. I love seeing new faces around these here parts. Even though I can't really see your face. Oh, that's right. Did you get them? Did you get them yet? You should have. I'm pretty sure. Okay, drop, this is like this piece right here. This piece right here is like chef's kisses. Now, when you see it, you're all gonna go, oh, but then pause because there is damage and it's significant, but this is gorgeous. And I, I do, I am, I do and I am, I'm going to start it at $45. I just have to, I just have to, Dagnabbit. 
and it's just gorgeous. Wait till you see this. This is another item I've held on to for quite some time. This is antique, very old, bohemian cut glass, hand painted in like, I know there's damage, but like in the most beautiful condition, despite the damage. Um, never seen another one like it. I did find one like it on the interwebs and if it were in perfect condition, craziness, but it's gorgeous. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Boom, 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 boom. Stop it. Who even is she? Oh my gosh. I love this so much. It is so beautiful. Now, before I show you all the details, I have to show you the problem. So this originally would have had a larger neck. It would have been a long necked vase probably about here or so. That broke off. But whoever owned this vase knew how amazing this vase was and they had it ground down. So it is not sharp. I didn't even know that until I started putting this in my Googler to try to find out who made it and what year it's from and everything, that it was supposed to have a longer neck, but it is not sharp. Somebody did grind it down and from the side, you would never know. You would never know. It's still very functional, beautiful vase. The only issue is, is that that neck at some point has been separated. But just look at the painting on this. Now I will tell you it's a little dirty inside. I will rinse that out, my bad. But look, this is all hand painted. And all of this design you see right here is cut. All of that glass is cut. Look how much of this paint is still present. Look at those flowers. I love to me, it kind of looks like a butterfly. Like this is the butterfly body, like the top of the butterfly, the body, and then the wings. Um, all of that is cut hand painted glass. Like all of this is cut. And just look at the details on the, look at these flowers. Are you kidding me? This is such a stunning piece, truly antique. And then on the bottom, it has a beautiful gold number two. Yes, it is heavy. It is beautiful quality. The paint is still pristine. Look at that detail in this painting job. That is just astonishing to me. Like, look at that. Like if I was single and that was a dating profile pic, I'd swipe right. Isn't that the way you swipe, right? I don't know. That's what I've heard. But look at this right here. I'll give you a close-up. Look at how beautiful these paintings are. And look at, like, these little cut windows with the hand-painted flowers on them. You could stare at this for days and find something new. And then even the top cobalt blue glass part is cut. It's so gorgeous. Look at her. I need like one of those spinning tables. Just stunning. And I can't believe how much of its original paint is still present. Um, It is, sorry, I just am taken by by its beauty. It is eight inches by about six. And this blue right here, the blue is glass. Like the blue is not painted. The blue is the top coating of the glass and then when they cut it that's when it was cut to like cut to clear so it was cased in a blue glass and then the blue glass was cut to show through look at these little windows it's just beautiful yes swipe right bitter swipe right it is a good listener aren't you vase we are going to start the countdown on this thank you guys so much so 15 14, 13, 12, 11. If it makes you happy, happy Felicia, do it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Lisa, I would say this is like 1880s to 1910, that time.
This is a stunner. A beautiful, beautiful baby. And no chips or cracks other than like that giant piece, but. Wow. It's so pretty. Wait till you get it in person. Um, Kelly Smith, wait till you get it in person and then put it in your Googler. Kelly Smith. Cause here's the thing. I don't know about y'all, but I'm not like, and I'm not, I'm not dogging other resellers. Like everybody has their own style. I'm not one though to be like, this is worth this much. Because like to me, yes, things sell at certain prices, but to me it's worth whatever my friends are willing to pay for it, right? So I try not to say like, oh, this is worth this or this or this. Cause it's not particularly, it's worth whatever you guys are willing to offer. Um, but that piece right there, you put that in your Googler. I'm telling you, it's got some high prices on it. All right, so this next piece is going to start off at $14. Where'd you go? Where'd you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? Oh, here she is. Now. Now. Yes, let's do one of those. We'll come back to this. Let's do one of those because I have two of them tonight. So let's do one of those. Good call. Number two. I got some rusty sale ephemera packets tonight. I got four. I got four. I've been replenished and I couldn't be high up here. So do, do any of you even need to know who the rusty sale is or do you just know already? I feel like we all just know. The Rusty Snail is my beautiful, amazing, extremely talented, one of my favorite people in the world, friends, Rachel at the Rusty Snail. I love her. She is a real, honest to goodness, human friend to me. Um, one of my favorite people in my actual goodness life. And I'm honored to have her. She puts these together. Now, when I say she puts these together, I bet you think you could like throw one of these together in like a day. No, this woman goes through thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of antique paper lots, pulls out individual pieces that coexist with the theme. It takes her months to put these together. And I'm always honored when I'm able to grab some. These right here are gonna be $35 choice. Now, one of the things I love the most about these is if you are a paper crafter or deal with any kind of vintage and antique paper, you can scan these in and use them over and over and over again. Unlike going to Michael's and buying the reproductions for the same price. And then once you use them, they're done. These are true. She doesn't put anything that's not truly antique or vintage in these packets. So we are lucky enough to have tonight four, but this choice is for a choice between two. And these are the only two Thanksgiving themed ones that I have. So we're gonna start, well actually let's start with this one. So this is the first one. So it says junk journal scrapbook, Thanksgiving and fall, 150 plus pieces. Now, although she says junk journaling and scrap, there are full pieces in here. Like um, there are Victorian die cuts. There are, um, this is a antique Thanksgiving postcard. And these have 150 plus pieces in them. On the back, there are vintage playing cards, vintage tickets. There is another vintage Thanksgiving postcard. Um, there Now, when I say everything in here is vintage and antiques, that does exclude her little tidbits. So like these wooden leaves might be newer and the buttons might be newer. And then like the pieces of fabric might be newer, but everything else is vintage or antique. Then over here, she's got some little um, cutouts made from vintage paper goods on the front. And it is very full. So you are getting a lot of items in there. I'll just give you a close up really quick. And then the back. And then here is a close up of the second one. And 
And then here is the back. Again, a full Thanksgiving postcard. I don't know how many full postcards are in here. Because when I get them, they are sealed. Um, and I don't open them as much as I want to. And this one is thick as well. And then this one also comes with the vintage paper cutouts. So this packet is packet number two. Oh my gosh, look how she sealed these. This one has pumpkins, that's on the outside. And this one has a little basket of apples spilling out. The attention to detail on these is crazy. But we are gonna start the countdown on choice at 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bidden. <sighs> Bidden. Why do I have that song? I had the uh, America song. America song stuck in my head earlier. America, America, gosh, John Grace on me. That one. I've had the weirdest song that stuck in my head today. Jamie Grafton, followed by Tippy Weeks Vintage. Congratulations, Miss Grafton. Which ones or one can I get you? So we're gonna call this one number one, and this one is number two. So you just let me know which one is calling you, and then that one will answer. So one, four, two. And thank you so much, Jamie. Rachel is fantastico. We know the artist that made these in the 70s and wrote the book, The Alphabet for Precious Children. One, please. You got it. Jamie Grafton. Yeah, I don't know what J Pee Wee's talking about. Jamie Grafton. Thank you so much, Jamie. And Tippy Winks, did you have any interest in the second one? Whoa! Wait, nope, this is the second one. Did you have any interest in the second one? I smacked myself in the head. Did you say that? What the heck? Beat myself up over. Her. Did you have any interest in this one, Tippy's mom? Yay! Okay, perfect. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Tippy Winks, you got it. Tippy. Tippy, Tippy. That's such a cute name. How did you come up with Tippy anyways? How did you do it, dear? All right. This next item is starting at $14. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so this next item is starting at $14, and this is another item that's hard for me to get rid of because I collect these, and she's a big girl. And I don't have that many big girls, but I can't keep everything. So, <gasps> look at her. So this is a vintage jointed made in Japan bisque penny doll. And she has clothes on, which I like never find them with fabric clothes on. Sometimes they'll have like a, like a papery skirt glued to them, but never like fabric clothes. So she is really sweet and she is larger. She's got on this blue kind of denim -y skirt and this piece of lace shirt. And she is marked made in Japan on her back. She's got red little Mary Janes on with blue rimmed socks. Her shirt has a little old button on the back. She has got two flowers or bows in her hair and she does move her arms boop, 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 and her legs. And she is 
six and a half inches tall. So a standard penny doll. What? You mean I don't just have any laying around? Hang on, I'm sure I do. I don't. Dang it. But a standard penny doll is like this big, right? And then she's this big. But I love her. I love her like distressedness. I think she is precious. She's got a little half smile and she's a kind of a different sculpt. I don't, I don't see her like that much. This with the hair, normally they're either like hairless or it's like a really comby kind of style. This one is a lot more fluid with the little piggy tails, just really sweet. And then she's got the part down the back. I love her. I don't know, Pee Wee. I don't know. But I see Helen Casey in at, th at 18. Thank you so much, Miss Casey. So 15, 14. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to count her down now. I should have said that. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, three, two, and one. Vid end. I'm having way too much fun playing with her. Boop, boop. It was funny. I ran into a gentleman at an estate sale who watches my shows and he was like, I like watching you a lot. I just feel like you would be at home in your room playing with dolls. I didn't really know what I thought about that, but like, he's not wrong, but like, it's also weird. <laughs> All right, this is going to go to Margaret Latina. Thank you so much, Margaret. Congratulations. Now you can be at home playing with dolls in your room. Yay! <laughs> there you go over there, Penny. Penny. All right, then. <gasps> Margaret, do you want to be my Vanna Unana? My Vanna Unana. Hey, my heart is in Havana Unana. Hey, she took me back to East Atlanta. Margaret, this is the part of the night, the last one, where you tell me what you want me to scour my withering hoard for, and I bring it back and I see if you guys don't hate it. So if you want to give me a suggestion, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Um, you can be creative. Just be, like, very vague. Because... Uh, my merchandise is kind of dwindling because, um, tiny human. Go figure. She's a lot. I didn't know that. I did. Like, she's not a lot, but, like, activities are a lot. Birthday parties. Dance stuff. School stuff. Holiday stuff. It's, like, a lot of stuff, you know? Christmas glass. Is that a thing? It is a thing. I got you. Christmas glass coming up. Coming up for Margaret Latino. I'll be right back. Christmas glass. Oh, Christmas glass. Your eyes are brightly shining. Alright. I got Christmas glass. Now, all right, I got Christmas glass. Now, the question is, should I do a pair or no? Yeah, let's do a pair because I feel like whoever will like one will like both. We're going to start the pair of these off at $25, please. Redheaded kitty cat, if you don't mind. So it is for a pair. A pair. All right, we're gonna start with these. Now I have not taken these out of the box, out of the bag. That's the fun part of this, is I just don't know what I'm gonna pull. Mm -hmm. So up first, we have a beautiful, I mean beautiful strand of blue mercury bead garland. Now these are glass, they are mercury glass. They are very fragile. Now, some of them have broken. There is a gap 
but that when you string it the gap will close you know what i mean like they'll fall down this way so the gap will be at the end so you won't notice the gap but there are some broken bulbs so just be mindful of that but that is extremely common with these they are very old and very fragile and thanks to mr michael todd i do know that these are an older set of mercury beads because he said and i am a good listener that the ones with the cardboard stars on the end are the older ones and these do have the stars on the end they are still present and this set also has its original made in japan label around it which is just such a nice touch now this is a very long strand of garland i didn't measure it because like i said i didn't know that um oh no the label fell off i'm gonna put it in the bag it didn't rip but it is off um i'm gonna put that in the bag I'll stand up and hold these up. So I'm 5'3", and they come to here. So I'm gonna say this is about a 10 inch string of mercury glass beaded garland. And they are in a very pretty teal blue. This is one of the harder colors to come by, I feel like. These in pink. So that is the first item in the lot. And then I'm gonna put them gently in here. And then the second item in the lot, I love this. I got this when I went to Ohio for the Ohio Extravaganza. It is this vintage tree topper. Now it is in its original box and I left this on there. This is not what I paid for it. But at some point, it says 113302. I don't know what that means. This was 89 cents. Now, I did not pay that. That would have been nice, but I didn't pay that. Um, it's in its original box. And then when you take it out, dun, 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 you have a stunning mercury glass with the chunky mica glitter christmas tree topper it is in perfect condition it is 10 and a half inches tall now i have a small collection of christmas tree toppers and how i display them is i put them on receipt spikes on a shelf and they look beautiful clustered together like this or not like this but like clustered together and this one has like a color shift like it's a like almost like a gradient between this darker teal and then a lighter teal and then it's got again i love that chunky mica glitter that is like one of my favorite things uh, about vintage christmas is that chunky glitter and then let's just look at it next to the blue garland get out of here that would be beautiful put this on a receipt spike and then kind of like dribble this around it and over it when it's on the receipt spike that would be stunning but you're getting both and this does come with its original box and also on the box it does say made in poland made in poland so just beautiful and then with the mercury glass beads stunning but we are gonna start the countdown on the pair of these at 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bid end. I want to put this away because I'm scared. I'm scared. I don't want to break it. <gasps> I'm scared. I'll have a blue Christmas without you. Dusty, I'll be so blue. Just thinking about you. 
Abby. Thank you so much, Justine. Congratulations. Abby, do who and all right. I am just not sure. Number 21. Oh, we got more vintage Christmas. All right. This next vintage Christmas piece is going to start at $14. And it is a lovely darling um, vintage cotton spun snowman. Cotton spun items are just so collectible anymore. Now, I do think he's cotton spun, but then wrapped in like... um like a cardboard material and then painted. Um, but this is from my personal collection. I've had him for many years, but I just thought maybe he could find a new home. But this is a very large vintage um, snowman. He is on a wooden base, his original base. And it's got, again, that chunky, chunky mica glitter on there. I don't know if you can see. And he's got his little chenille hands. He's going like this. I'm not really sure of the pose. But he's got his top hat. And he's just so chunky. He is older. He's from the 40s or 50s. And he would look really sweet with like a little um, antique postcard right there. And he's got the chenille scarf. He's got paper buttons in a paper top hat now he is very fragile because his legs are so so thin so when i ship him i'm probably honestly not going to wrap him in bubble wrap what i'll probably do and y'all don't be mad at me is in this one instance i'll probably use packing peanuts i'll just set him in the box like this and pack packing peanuts around him because I worry about these legs. So I want to get him as snuggly as I can, possibly can. And he is pretty large for a vintage Christmas um, cotton spun. He's five inches by four inches. So pretty big, but just so sweet. I love him. He's so funny. And he survived all these years. Gotta love his endurance. And then there is this little like ring around him too. But we are going to start the countdown on him. Thank you so much, Susan. So 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. End. Well, thank you just for being here, Dusty. I love him. There you go, Pee Wee. Do that. Oh, I should share another secret with you guys. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll share an, a, a trick with you guys. Diane. Roderick. Thank you so much, Diane. I know it's very annoying when I leave off screen, and I apologize, but I have, if you give a mouse a cookie brain, and there's just things I want to show you guys and do, but I have to get up to do them. So give me just, I promise, this will be the last time I get up from this sale. Okay? But I want to show you something that I make that I think you will appreciate me telling you about. Where? Where the heck are you? Hang on, I thought I knew where it was. Where did you go? Oh, here it is. Okay, so just a little tip, if you are interested. So, this is my magic pixie dust, and you can make some too if you want to. So this is my handmade vintage Christmas glitter. So I'm gonna show it to you. Do you see it? Do you see it? Isn't it pretty? So I don't know if you like glitter, but what you do is you take, 
like if when you're storing your vintage mercury ornaments over the season and you happen to take it out or your cat knocks one off the tree or whatever, you save them and then you put them in a blender. Now don't use your own blender, like go to Goodwill or something and, or a garage sale and buy a blender. Don't use like your kitchen blender, but then you blend up the mercury ornaments and you get this beautiful multicolored, chunky vintage looking glitter. And that's all just made from um, broken mercury glass ornaments. Isn't that fun? So pretty. So don't throw away your broken ornaments. Blend them up and make chunky, chunky glitter. It's fun. And wear a mask when you blend it, cause like, dangerous. Dangerous. Don't breathe in glass, folks. All right. I did, I did, Amy, were you not here? I did sneak peek. I sneaked peeked two, four things. I did. All right, so this next item is a very Ariana Withering Cottage item. And um, probably again, not the right time of year for it, but like, it's fun. Um, we're going to start this lot at $25 and you're going to get everything you see here. Okay. So here it is. She's kind of large. Okay. She's kind of large, but Ta -da! <laughs> look at him. It's a storybook doll party. So this is a antique cruet set holder. So I'm gonna take all the party girls out and then I'll show everything to you one by one. Um, and then you can decide if you hate it or not. Now this piece in and of itself is stunning. Like if you wanted to use this for something else, you could, if you have marble eggs or you um, propagate plants, you could put little vases in here and propagate your plants in there now this is marked warranted quadruple plate number eight but look at this handle is that not stunning so it is quadruple silver plate and it's got etching around the base as well and then here is the bottom now this does screw off and honestly in shipping i probably will um, separate this for shipping. So if you get it in pieces, don't be scared. You just simply put this back on and then twist this back on. But I love this. And this is pretty tall. It's about 16 inches or so. And it's just beautiful in and of itself. You could put whatever you wanted in here, candles, little cups, or if you find the cruet pieces, you could put them in there as well. Or if you wanted to take this piece off entirely and just use this part for like a hat stand, that would be really cool. Um, let's see what that looks like. Now I'm curious. Now I'm a curious cat. Okay, so look at that. Now you've got a hat stand. Look at that as a hat stand. That would be stunning. Like, gorgeous. But it is a cruet set, so we'll put that back on there for now. All right, and then you're gonna get five Nancy Ann storybook dolls, and they're all in really good condition, and they're all the older ones. They're the composite ones, they're not plastic. So this is the first one. I don't know her name. She does not have a tag. But she is beautiful. She's in really good condition. She has the bright red hair. She is composite, so we're gonna set her in there. And then we have this little lady. Um, I don't know who she is either, but again, she is one of the older ones. She is composite. And she is in a yellow dress. And then We've got this one. Now she has the remnants of a tag on her wrist, but no actual tag. 
and she is in a red dress again older composite we're going to tuck her in there and then we have this little lady in oh get in your hole don't fight with me just get in your hole thank you and you get in your hole why are you being quiet peewee don't be quiet and then we have this one. She also does not have her tag, but she has got her original little straw hat. And she is also composite. And then last but not least, we have the blonde, who's kind of giving me like Goldilocks vibes. And hello. And she is also composite. And we're gonna tuck her in there. And then don't forget, you're gonna get the cruet slash hat stand holder, plus all five of the vintage storybook dolls. Is it magnetic? Let me get a magnet. Let me get a magnet. It is not magnetic. Not magnetic. So it's probably aluminum or something like that. But we are gonna start the countdown. I see L. Paul R. in at 25. Thank you so much. Oh, or was that for the last item, L. Paul? Uh, no, I think that's for this, L. Paul. So we're gonna start the countdown on this at 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, you can bring your dolls with you. One, bid end. I really like that as a hat stand though. That would be killer. Boop, 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 boop. Nickelodeon. Nick, 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 nick. Thank you guys so much. That is gonna go to Lisa Jens. Congratulations and thank you, Lisa. And thank you to everybody that participated for 38. And also just a quick reminder, I don't know if a lot of you know this, but just in case you didn't, if you go to my Instagram or you can just email me, I do offer personalized treasure boxes. So if that's something like, maybe you would like to give as a Christmas gift for somebody like that would be super personal. Um, so all you have to do is email me. There are a minimum of $50 because I include a minimum of five items. So that gives me at least $10 an item to go off of. Um, anything less than that, I wouldn't feel right just sending like one item cause they're supposed to be like a box. So they're a minimum of $50, but they can go up as high as you want them to. And I'm not just saying this to sell them, but I really don't make money on them. I just do it as a way to give back to you guys because I love personal shopping for people. Um, so yeah, minimum of $50, but they can go up as high as you want. And you just tell me what kind of things you're into. And I try to, I try really hard to find things that you would really like. And it's like a personalized mystery box, like a personal shopping vintage antique mystery box. So you can either email me um, under the first post of my, in, or message me under the first post of my Instagram or send me a message on Instagram, or you can send me an email if that's something you might be into. And then shipping is extra but I have a lot of fun doing them. So if that's like, if you know somebody who loves vintage and antiques, but you don't know what to get them, you could tell me kind of their style and I could shop for you. That could be fun. All right, we've got about seven items left, my friends. How are we doing on time? We're doing pretty good. Oh, I did not know what I wrote on this. Now, this next piece, is super cool kind of hard to find it was a piece of my personal collection but i am letting it go um i am gonna start her at 35 dollars 35 dollars and she's gonna take a special person um but they are kind of hard to come by i'm not gonna lie and i love her which is why i bought her 
So she is from, oh gosh, what year? I know this. I forgot. But she is Knickerbocker. For some reason, I want to say like 1934. But that might not be right. But she is amazing. But there is a condition issue with her. So if you're interested, maybe wait until I mention the condition issues. But this is a very early composite toy. And this is Ferdinand the cow. Now these are pretty, um, I don't know, they're, they're not a very common thing. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this, but this is Ferdinand. Now, Ferdinand has a lot going for her, but she also has a couple of flaws. So we'll start with the flaws first. So Ferdinand does have a little bit of the composite chipping on the horn right there. And then also at some point, which I didn't even notice until months after I owned this, she had a break right here. How I missed that, I am not entirely sure, but there is a break. It's very secure. It doesn't feel like it's gonna break again or anything like that. But, okay, so those are the negatives, but Ferdinand has a lot going for her. First of all, I just love the muted colors. I love the wear of a child playing with it. Um, she also has her original flower, which a lot of times they are missing. Oh, I'm sorry, bull. Did I say cow? I meant bull. <laughs> I was just making sure you guys were paying attention. Silly coconuts. I knew that. Um, Wait, see, point seven seconds on a bull named Ferdinand. But I love the pink eyeshadow and the wear on the eyes. And I just love that she she's composite. I love old composite toys. And she is a pretty big toy. And she does have a jointed, ball jointed um, head. And she does have posable, movable legs. Although, maybe she doesn't. Okay, her legs aren't movable, I lied to you. 1930s, okay, so me saying 1934 wasn't too far off. This bull <laughs> is almost a 100 years old, and she was a child's toy, but I really just like her as a figurine. Imagine like a pink bow around her, just kind of like plucked into your collection of things, especially vintage toys. She has a yarn tail. Yeah, exactly, Lisa. I'm just testing your knowledge. And then on her belly right here, it says Knickerbocker Toy Co. Uh, Walt Disney. So it is Disney licensed. And she stands very proud and very sturdy. And I just love her. And thank you so much, Redheaded Kitty Cat. I see you in at 35. So sweet. Imagine, wait, wait. Where'd you go? Where'd you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? Imagine something like this. Now, this is already sold to Margaret, but look. Uh, how cute. So, this is just for Ferdinand, but I had to show you. Like, you could do something like that. Go, Ferdinand, go! We're going to start the countdown on this. At, uh, Ferdinand's a boy? Dag nubbit. I can't do nothing right. Can't do nothing right, Ferdinand. Just sit right there. We're gonna start the countdown on Ferdinand right here. At 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That's what a bull sounds like. I'll tell you what. <sighs> That's ridiculous. Ridiculous. That's going to go to Grace 2010H. Thank you so much, Grace. At four. At four. At four fifty two. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, a little heart just went up my screen and it scared me half to death. I thought it was a bug. All right. I want, let's 
do another toy. Amy, you'll know who made this. But I think I do too. I think that he's going to start at $25. And I think that he is ideal. Ideal toy company. But Amy, I'm sure you will tell me I'm wrong. I found this baby in a field in Ohio. And we made eyes and he begged me to save him. And so I did. Is he perfect? No. Is he fantastic? Yes. And I love him. And he is starting at $25. Are you ready to meet him? His name is... What's your name? I haven't named you. This is a baby Parker. Baby Parker. Hey, get the baby Parker. So this is, I believe, Ideal Company. He, he, he's a boy. Bully blow. Um, he is a large rubber-faced teddy bear with sleepy eyes. So, he is very large. Um, I'll do my best to measure him. He's about 16 inches tall, and he's got this beautiful rubber face. He is in the white, and his eyes are in beautiful condition. They're not discolored or anything. And he, look at his little tongue sticking out, and he is a sleepy-eyed bear. So when he tilts down, his eyes close. He works beautifully. Now, because he is white, he does have some discoloration on him. There is some discoloration on the back of his head right here. He is just nice and squishy and cuddly, although I don't recommend you giving him to a small child. I don't recommend that. I did not wash him. Sometimes I unstuff them, wash them, restuff them, but with the with the um, sleepy eyes, I didn't want to risk submerging him in water in case there's some me metal mechanical parts. Because I'm definitely not an expert. But just a really great vintage stuffed animal. I was so happy when I found him. You can ask Miss Pamela. I was like carrying him around like this. Everybody was looking at me like I was crazy, but what's new? <laughs> Um, but just so cuddly. I did add this new blue silk ribbon just because I felt like he needed something. He When I got him, he was in clothes, but they were old Cabbage Patch doll clothes and they were filthy. Um, so I did disrobe him and put a nice blue bow around his face. And he's just adorable. I love a good vintage plush and especially I love his very sweet rubber face and he really is in really good condition i mean the eyes still work like brand new so cute i was wasn't i bam i really was but we are gonna count parker down so 15 14 13 12 11 10 9 Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bid end. Yay, he says. Pee Wee, you're like my personal hype, man. Thank you so much, Pee Wee. <laughs> And that is going to G Mattel. Congratulations, G, and you are definitely new to me. So first and foremost, welcome. We are so happy to have you here. Um, if you could, G, send me your information to the email that Amy just posted. And just because you are so new to me, G, I'm so happy you're here. But Janet, just be um, on, you know, Possible alert as a backup, just in case, but we are so happy to have you here, G. G. Thank you, thank you. And I don't mean any, res I can't talk. I don't mean any disrespect, G. We are very happy you are here. But sometimes in this, it's hard to know if people are real or not. So please don't take offense. We are so glad you're here. But just in case you are a robot, which I'm sure you're not, but just in case, 
we're going to write Janet down as a backup. But thank you so much for being here. Did Pee Wee song and dance fill anyone else with thoughts? What song and dance? I'm so confused. Well, thank you for understanding. I really, really appreciate that. All right, we only got a few left. I'm so sad. Thank you guys that are still here. Oh. Dun, dun, dun. Wait, no, that's not it. Tequila. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, have you guys ever seen the video of the person singing that song on karaoke? It's so funny because it's just like. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. And then at the end, he just, they just go, tequila! And then it's like another minute of them just, okay, it's coming up. It's coming up. And then like a minute later, they go, tequila! <laughs> like, I feel like if I ever sing karaoke, that's the song I want to sing. Just so I can say tequila, like, once every ten minutes. What was I doing? Oh, okay. So... This is another one of my favorite items. You guys are probably gonna hate them. No disrespect to your taste, total disrespect to mine. I got these at a barn sale and I love them. They are withering. They are something I would totally keep, but I'm trying to bring you guys things that I like also because like I can't keep everything. But you might not like these, but I love these like a lot. All right, they're gonna start off, they're gonna need a special mommy or daddy, okay? Hi, Cha-Ching King, thank you so very much. Do I, you want me to sing you the tequila song for that? Okay, hang on. Tequila, thank you, Cha-Ching King. All right, so um, I love these a lot. They're gonna take a very special mommy or daddy Thank you so much, Chichin King. That's so sweet. You're always so nice to me. Um, we're going to start the pair off of these at $14. And I know when you guys see these, you're going to be like, girl, $14 for these? Well, yes, because I would pay $14 for these, but also there's something wrong with me. They are not perfect. They need a special home. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, oh, gee, Mattel, I am so sorry. My my lost puppy is still my screensaver, so I know what that feels like. So I'm, that's crazy. I'm glad you got him. He's your new Parker. He can't ever replace Parker, but he'll be a good stand-in. All right, I think I've hyped these up enough. You ready? You're going to hate it. I just know you're going to hate it. <gasps> Look at these. You hate them? Do you hate them? I love them. So, these are old metal fairies. I don't know from when. And they're missing parts. But, like, I love that for them. We don't love them any less because they're missing parts. We love them more. This one is missing her foot. And this one is missing... missing <laughs> this one is missing both her legs. Okay? But... I thought in a pot, like put these in a pot or like if you have a window box, you know, put these in the back of your window box or just put them on the wall as they are. They are have like metal and they are patinaed beautifully and they're just whimsical and weird and like I had to get them. And honestly, if they don't sell I'm not just saying this. I will totally keep these and put them in a planter in my yard and have these in them because I just think that they're fantastic. So here's this one. She is definitely in the best condition. She's missing both her little feet. But if you stick that in a pot, you'll never see her feet, right? You'll just see her. But she does have a hole right there if you wanted to hang her. I literally plucked these from like an old barn I love them. Disclaimer, definitely not amputees. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. I like them just the way they are. And then she's got a hole here to hang. And they're just so fun. Where? Tell me. Tell me right now. Where are you going to find another pair of missing legged and footed metal angels? That's what I'm here to do. I have an itch. 
that's what I'm here to do, is bring you the things you can't find anywhere else. I try. I try real hard. But I love them. And you're getting the pair. Look at that in a pot. Stop it. Stop it right meow. That's fantastic. But we're going to start the countdown on these. Don't miss your opportunity to own two unique fairies. Okay. We are going to start the countdown at 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Gosh, why was that one so aggressive, bit end? <laughs> I honestly didn't mean to do that. I just really went for it on one. We need like one, you know? Guys, I'm having the hardest time figuring out what book I'm going to read next. I got so many TBRs, and I can't pin it down, and so I just haven't been reading. Sharon Olson, congratulations. Thank you so much. I can't wait to hear about what you do with them. No, but there is periods that are. So it's the dot withering dot cottage at gmail.com i'm sorry about the periods if i could go back in time i would not have done that to y'all it was a selfish aesthetic thing i did and i apologize robert galbraith what kind of books are they though like what's the job like what's the what 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 is it all right, this next piece, we are going to start off at, I'm going to do higher, okay? Y'all, y'all don't, oh, that will be so fun. Um, this is going to be a little bit of a higher piece. It's going to start, oh gosh. You know what? No, we'll start it low. And then if you guys like it, you can do what you please with it. We're going to start at $14. J.K. Rowling is Robert Galbraith? I'm so confused. Okay, so this is a beautiful, now I know this is older just because of the estate sale I got it at. If you wanna go to my Instagram, you can see my haul that I got from this estate sale. It was pretty epic and it was all like Victorian antique and like 1950s and earlier jewelry. And that is where I got this beautiful cameo. Now there is one issue with this. I will send it in this box as well. Um, there are a few scratches to the front of this piece. You have to catch it in just the right light to even see them, but they are more noticeable in person. Um, they are right, let me see. They are on the right side. They're very subtle but they are right around here. There are some scratches. I just wanted to show you, we'll tell you about it. But this is such a beautiful glass amber cameo. I don't know the maker. The cameo itself is about two inches and it has got this beautiful design around it. It is prong set. It is cut beveled glass. And she is in there, carved into it. I know Heather would know the name when it's carved into it versus out of it. And then the chain it is on is twenty is about 24 inches. Here is how the size would look. I'll put it on really quick so you can just kind of see faceted. Yes, I read books and watch the shows. Of Bridgerton? Is that what y'all are talking about? Or no, you were talking about, yeah, Bridgerton. Bridgerton. Oh, come on. Don't do this to me. I'm live, cameo. Cameo. Intaglia. Intag. In, yeah. But look how pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? I would put it, like, under a collar like this. Well, come on, you're really showing me up here, necklace. 
How'd you sneak out of that collar? It would be like that, kind of. This is just not going well. But, oh my gosh, now it's stuck on my lace. Come on. It's beautiful. That's all I'm saying. Look at that shine. Okay, I'm done with you, Cameo. You did not cooperate. And it's starting at 14. I'm going to buckle it one more time. Again, you think, um, think about Christmas. Like, do you know somebody who would like that for Christmas? Because that is beautiful. And it is in very, very good condition. And then I'm going to set it in this box. So you can see it in the box. And that is how it will come. Just like that. Just like that. And I don't see any interest as of yet, but we are going to do the countdown anyways, just in case somebody wants to put 14 in there. So, hey, smalls. So I'm going to count down at 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one. Bid end. Are you, are you? I still have that song stuck in my head. Come into the tree. And that's the only part of the song I know. Come into the tree. <laughs> that is going to Smalls. Thank you so much, Smalls, and congratulations. And thank you, Kim. But we got three left. Three left. Okay. Oh, this is fun. So this is inspired by my beautiful friend, Pamela Blanchard at Oak Grove Antiques. And I found this and you are getting all of this. Now this, the, this lot right here is starting off at $18. $18, and what I have is a beautiful um, silver plate champagne bucket. Now, Pamela Blanchard is the one that started, well, that I saw putting vintage Christmas trees or Christmas small Christmas trees in champagne buckets, and they look absolutely lovely like that. So you are going to be getting this tree. Now, this is just from the dollar and a quarter tree, and I did have to cut off the tips of it to fit it in the bucket. Um, this is marked Leonard Silver Plate. And it is just a beautiful old large champagne bucket. It has gorgeous handles. I love the patina on it. It's kind of pulling brass. And I think that's really pretty. And then also on the front, I just included this little vintage wrist um, crystal rosary just to kind of add some dimension to it. It is a beautiful glass crystal rosary. And then I tied it with this beautiful champagne colored bow. Now, of course, if you don't want to use this for a Christmas tree, you don't have to. Again, think, would somebody like this gifted with a beautiful bottle of champagne in it? Or just use it year round for put your rolling pins in here, put um, your bathroom towels in there. There's so many options, but it is absolutely beautiful. And then it is also coming though with the Christmas tree. Now, I didn't have anything to really make it stand up, but you could add something to make it a, a little higher, put some paper in there or something like that. Um, but this is just kind of sitting in there. Yeah, add flowers whatever you want but it's stunning it has a beautiful let me show you here too a beautiful look at that rim isn't that lovely it's just so pretty and i feel like they're really underrated you can do a lot with these you know like the no offense because i have one too i have one too the tacky like utensil holders for your kitchen like your spatulas and your spoons and all that. Do that. Do that. Yeah, put your fruits in here. Put your 
your toilet paper in here in your bath. Use this as a trash can for your bathroom. That'd be fancy. Do, yeah, use it as a spill vase, like Pee Wee said. Whatever, these, you, move it all around your house, okay? They're great. I love them. That's all I'm saying. Whatever you need, it's here for you. And you're getting the tree and the rosary as well. But we are going to get Don Perion. Yes, put some Don Perion in here. I get my Don Perion from the Walmart. I sure do. We're going to start the countdown on this at 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bit end. Bit, I am not fancy. I mean, I'm a little fancy when it comes to like vintage and antiques, but like I own three pairs of shoes. <laughs> like I'm not fancy. How are you? How are you? But I do like my vintage and antiques. I will say that. And that is going to Grace 2010H. Thank you so much, Grace. Guys, I have really enjoyed being with y'all tonight. It's crazy how much I miss you guys when I'm off. I miss you. With that being said, too, Thanksgiving week, I won't be having a sale. Bummer. But because I don't want to be... I love y'all. I do. But, like, I don't want to be in here shipping on Thanksgiving. You know what I mean? I don't know. It's just family time. Will y'all hate me? Don't hate me. Don't hate me. All right. Up next, please, Vanna. Starting at $18. Because you're getting two, okay? It's not just one. And I've seen these go for more than that for one. That's all I'm going to say. But, um... I like these together. Yes, close for Thanksgiving. Aw, thank you, Smalls. But y'all will come back after Thanksgiving, right? You won't think that I've left you forever? Like, you would come back, right? You wouldn't be like, man, we're so sick of this girl not coming here on Tuesdays. That's so rude. All right, so starting at $18 for the pair, we have not just one. I will, I'll take it out right now. I'll put Ferdinand in your bucket. We have not just one. Okay. But we have two. Da, 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 da. We got the big one and the baby one. These are clear glass trees and they're in beautiful condition. I like that they are in kind of different styles, but very similar. I love that they're in different sizes. Um, they do have somewhat polished bases. This one, I'm sorry, it has sticker residue. I did bad, I did real bad. I'll try to get that off, I'm sorry. But you can see it has a nice shiny bottom. Um, I did feel all over them. I don't feel any chips or cracks. Unless they skipped by me, but I tried awfully hard. Oh, I fibbed. There's one on the bottom right there, but it's on the bottom. So you don't, it's not, and it, it, I didn't feel it cause it's smooth. I don't even know if it is a chip, but it is on the bottom. But the taller one is eight and a half and the smaller one is six inches but look how lovely they are together and they'll last forever i'm not a sweet potato person i don't like sweet potatoes but i do like sweet potato pie in case you were wondering with an insane amount of cool whip on it just in case you were curious but look how pretty <laughs> and you're gonna get the pear and these on light bases, they're pretty cool. Or like, do a forest of these with Twinkie lights. Yeesh. But we are gonna start the countdown on these at 15, 14, 
13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Big end. I love all of Thanksgiving on a sandwich. I'm like, green bean casserole, turkey, gravy, mashed potatoes, stuffing, bread, eat. That's what I do. Yeesh. Shirley. Shirley, for Shirley. And those are going to Laura Orton. What number is that? Laura Orton, thank you so much, dear. For $33. We are on our last item. Oh, how sad. And we are ending on a high because I got two more Rusty Stale Ephemera packets. And this time, they are red. Oh, Grace, how dare you? I'm just kidding. They're red. These are going to start at $30 choice. Oh, I can hear an echo. Hello. $30 choice start. And this one says antique and vintage shades of red, 150 plus pieces. And this one, now these are not Christmas. I will have hopefully Christmas ones at some point. These are just red. There may be some Christmas things in here. I'm not really sure. Look at her. She's fantastic. So this one right here is packet number two. I don't know why I grabbed two first to show you, but I did. Oh, look, this one has a ribbon from Boating Delegate, 1948. So this is number two, and it has, like I said, 150 plus pieces. And then this is red number one. Oh my gosh, look at this. It has a little mushroom patch in there. Isn't that cute? You got some Victorian die cuts in there. I don't know what's in here because I, I didn't open them. Look at this car on the back. That is so cool. And then also on the front, she included the red cutouts. She does cut these out, but she uses vintage paper to cut them out of. And then there's this red string on the end. Absolutely, smalls, absolutely. And these are the choices. So this one is, I'm gonna swap, swap, no. Yes. No? No. This is number one. This is number two. She does. They're so good. And they're fat. Like, you get a lot. And again, you can scan these in and use them over and over again. But we are going to start the countdown on these. And you get to choose between one or two. So, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, Nine, eight, seven, six, five. They both have the car. Four, three, two, and one. Bid end. They have different cars. I can't quite see this car, but it's different. That's a Cadillac. This is a town and country. Yep. The grill on the front. This one. Vroom, vroom. Vroom, vroom. And it looks like Ragdoll. Thank you, Sharon. Ragdoll. Good night. Um, Would you like... Wait, did I say that wrong? Yes, Ragdoll. Would you like number one or number two? One or two? I feel like an, I can't ever say that word, obstetrician. 
one or two. Isn't an obstetrician a baby doctor? I'm so confused. <gasps> Thank you, Ragdoll. Congratulations. They are so fun. So fun. And those are going to Ragdoll. Thank you so much, dear. Dun, 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 dun. Guys, this is my least favorite part of the night when you all leave me. I'll miss you. But I'll see you next Tuesday though, right? And I'm thinking, I don't know that I'm going to do like a whole Christmas sale. Because then if you don't like Christmas, that's not very fun for you to watch. Um, so next week it would probably be a mix of like other very withering cottage things and Christmas. Unless, tell me I'm not wrong. Christmas, or er, Thanksgiving is not next week, right? Obviously not. But if you didn't hate hanging out with me tonight, come back next Tuesday. That'd be fun. All right. So now it's time to do the giveaway for these very official Withering Cottage coupons. They are both for $10 off. And if you bought more than one thing, you might could win both of them. There's no sabotage. There's no cheating in this. It's all look of the draw. I can't. You can be mad if you don't get it, but I can't control it. I can't. There's nothing up my sleeve. I'm, there's nothing in the roof. I'm reaching in, wiggling around. 15. I don't even know who that is. Cheryl Stevens. Congratulations. Cheryl Stevens. You got $10 off of your beautiful Weiss brooch. If you're still here, thank you so much, Cheryl. And then, turkey scented soap, Penguin. What is wrong with people? 22, Margaret Latina, you got $10 off. Congratulations. You got $10 off of your penny doll. promise to have like thoughtful giveaways next week hopefully it's just been crazy around these hairs parts you know shopping for stuff and being a mom and stuff you know it's complicated i'm sorry song smith i'm so sorry and thank you again to Jing king if you're still watching for your very sweet gift you really didn't need to do that and just to all of you like i've been watching Oh gosh, I don't want to get sentimental again, but I watched something yesterday. I won't tell you what it was or if it even had anything to do with the vintage community or not. Um, I'm just going to keep it very vague. The, the person I watched did not seem like they cared very much about their customers. Um, and it made me sad because if someone were to ask me, like, who pays you? I would never say myself. It is all you guys. Everything I do is for you, because of you, and every, like, literally. I know I say it a lot, and I'm not trying to be too sentimental, but I just legitimately want you all to know how much your support and you being here on Tuesdays honestly, truly means to me. Like, blows my mind to pieces that I get to do this for a living because of my friends like you. Like, you guys will never understand it. If you ever have any questions, any concerns with your order or anything, let me know because you guys literally are my number one priority. Um, I mean, other than like my family, obviously, but um, like, cause without y'all, what would I be? I mean, I'd ha I'd be a mom and I'd have all that, but I just mean like, you guys are so much more than just customers to me. Like you guys are the best. And I'm so lucky and honored to have all of y'all. Um, and the fact that you come back every Tuesday, I'll just never, ever, ever get used to. Um, but thank you again for all of the support, for sticking around and watching to the end of my sale. Y'all mean the most to me. And I'll see you next Tuesday at 730. And thank you once again for joining me at The Withering Cottage. Bye.